The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. I chose not to sign the paper because I still want to go as far as I can go. No. <laughs> are you going to sign? <laughs> I don't know. If my job is on the line, I would. <laughs> so you're going to keep violating because technically you didn't sign. Yeah, so your job is violation. on the line way more than you know it. <laughs> See, here you go. How y'all doing, man? Good weekend. I'm going to first highlight and shout out Melissa Ford. A.K.A. The Undertaker. <laughs> B.K.A. She Is Her. Anytime you have to get the music together. I got Any, you. I'm, I, I, anytime I got you, you count her out. I got you. She was in here sad. <laughs> we saw the nigga from the Millionaire Show, the, the Tom Green, whatever his name is. She Tom looked, Green. He, he looked crazy. <laughs> and then she just come right back up. And she ends up in the mix. What you talking about? Oh, do, tell, do tell Sure Sure I don't want to get her business and Why is the Undertaker music playing? Because she comes up needed. like the Undertaker We be counting out Remember she was sad Running to, Crying in the bathroom <gasps> We thought she was we, we thought she was washed Not this one Not Miss Muffin Sat on her Puffin Whatever that shit is Wait who thought she was washed? A lot of niggas A lot of niggas thought it was over <laughs> <laughs> They have a petition on Reddit it's over, Is it over for Mel? No way <laughs> Mel was caught side like this I saw you Niggas sent me pictures Yeah And a nigga sent me a video Of you in the airport On on, um, on FaceTime With somebody in the airport I swear I'm gonna show you These Yo, niggas on your ass You need to Stop You gotta show me Stop Were you on the Were you on the phone With somebody in the airport Yes On FaceTime I don't wanna say no names But No How you doing You look good Thank you The nigga paid for you Get your toes done too that, Was oh, that a gift Damn that Cause is like, it's invasive. different Invasive like, when a when a man pay for a woman to get her toes done, and when she pay for her right, own right. toes, all right, it's the, not the bad. host of the show has it's back with, 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 with <laughs> I his wanted, microphone. I want to hear his the host of the, with my, what's toe, his toe assessment. I want to hear it too, Go ahead. but I just want the audience to know that I'm yeah, you back. Got another pair of new glasses? No, man, Seriously. I have a lot of glasses. I, I mean, of, I would. When, when, the women, no disrespect to women. Leave I mean, me alone. I think you see them, right? Leave me alone today. <laughs> Stop. Those look nice. Uh, Y'all nice. have seen these. I've worn these. I ain't never seen those. No, I ain't seen those. Y'all have. It's on YouTube. It's on Patreon. I don't, look, I don't watch there. <laughs> oh, I see you here. Oh, brother. I ain't <laughs> never no. seen them here. I got it. Little truck I had. Yo, why we ain't getting on t-shirts? Yeah. I asked him for one. Oh, one we just said we want to hear his theory first. But then you got the Sorry. glowing letters. They catch right? my eyes. They shimmering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the 3M reflection. Please, yo. Your regular swag is fire today. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, you look rich. Yeah, you do. You do. Trucker hat. <laughs> yeah. We know LA that trick. Shit. That's how LA shit. That shit what a nigga just said. You know what's funny about that? I'm purposely on laundry day. That's LA shit. Nigga mm. just be rich. Just Very come out. Somehow that looks richer than the wild. Seven hundred dollar t shirt. Shit look, seven hundred dollar t shirt with the holes in it. Look, yeah. I was like, I'm a freak the game today, the network shirt. Mm. That's your fire. That network. Nobody, little that, network that, that, shirt. That nobody else got. You only bought one. Ice, every week you come in here with a new ice shirt that I be wanting to wear too. I, I, I have Yo, never worn an ice shirt. Uh, all right. You, that's you, ice. Yeah, you, exactly. you have mad ice shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you only have one t-shirt? Today must be Bizarro Day part two. <laughs> it's a great day. It's Bizarro Day. Actually. It is a great day. What do you say? Do you only have one t-shirt? Can, like, can we, I, want, I would like one. You only bought one. Well, this particular brand... <laughs> What? <laughs> it's a one. It's oh, a what? one of one. What, what, this not. one. That means number four ain't none to come, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> some is to come though. No. Pause. Mm. Well, mm. You know, we got we got some coming. I'm working. I'm working on a little. A little. I'm working on some shit. You know, you got the outfit. Of I will meet with you, gentlemen, in the event that I think of a really creative idea that involves y'all likeness, so we can discuss percentages. This is a business at the end of the day. But, but, that's, but oh, that's good. I, it's the summertime. I appreciate it. Like, you have I plan to be in t-shirts a lot this summer. Like, you have the outfit that when your nigga just signed, you know, when a rich nigga just signed a fifty million dollar deal and they just want to walk outside like they ain't signed it. That's what you got. Like, you did something this weekend and I'm on you. I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna call. You. I'm gonna find out you did something this weekend. Got your toes out, nigga. You ain't even put no lotions on the shit. You don't no. give a fuck. Yeah. No. And, and be, I have lotion in my bed. You try to be inconspicuous, but nigga, we can see right through you. Nigga. <laughs> Oh, look at you with an inconspicuous. I know words. Wait, oh, I know no. words. No, that's fly. I, I, you know me and Ish don't be thinking you know the words. 
I know. Y'all put me in that, bro. <laughs> My man, he good. <laughs> okay, that's definitely a bizarre report. I see what's going on. <laughs> see what's going on. But real quick, all of us are color coordinated. Mm-hmm. We look great. Go ahead, get your shit off. Mel, so when you men back on Mel? When men get a woman's feet done, they pay for the top, top, top nail polish. The top. I want you to get the best shit. Usually, when women do it, they want to get in and out. So yeah, shout out to you. I see it. Your shit. Your shit is triple layered, nigga, and glossed. <laughs> I know when you get your shit that regular, it be looking all the, the the polish be on the toe by the skin. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong? With wow. You? But when a nigga get it there, <laughs> Yo, Mel, get him, man. Get him. Yeah, get him, Mel, because get they not people not gonna keep their tear. No, here shout out to no, shout out to Melissa for I just wanna say that I you know You said at, it. I, every time I count her out, nigga, she rise up. Stop counting me out then. I will never do it again. Mm. Thank you. Mm. I appreciate. Sometimes mm. I go dormant. But that's it. Your dormant shit is different. <laughs> you go off the map and then come out of nowhere. <laughs> How is everyone? We're good. Great. Man. Fantastic. How are you? Is that your way of telling Melissa that she's beautiful? I love her. That's yes. his way of saying he missed her. I miss all of you guys. That's what it is. Oh, oh, weekend was wonderful. I, you know, I'm upset. I was supposed to get some money yesterday from Joe and nigga Viola. I called him on the phone on <laughs> Sunday. They called me all day. <laughs> you mind. I promise you, he called me all day. I kept hitting ignore, and it didn't deter him. <laughs> Every few hours, he would come back. Finally, I had enough. I asked like, hello. <laughs> What's up, man? Here you go. I heard from you all day, man. Well, yeah, there's like other people in my life that I have to tend to on an off day, like my kids. No, I wanted a jacket. Baby. I was going somewhere. I wanted a jacket. Um, I was in Jersey. I wanted a jacket. I said, I wanted a jacket. And I was trying to call him, but he didn't pick up his phone. Oh, you came to Jersey? Yeah. I was out here. I'm going to let you know, yeah. So I'm ready. I'm going to start us off with smooth sounds today because I see <laughs> one of those. I could tell. That shit I, I know it on the walkie. That shit is a wallet size window. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I ain't no, 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 no. Shit. Stop. <laughs> Just because you got big windows, don't, don't laugh at people that got other windows. Don't do that. The window that's shame. the other thing that's the funny. Window shame. People don't even really know why it's funny, but it's funny. Why? Is it a basement window? <laughs> Chilling at the four point six. I'm no asking. I don't know. I used to have a fish tank with that window. <laughs> All right. Stop, man. <laughs> a fish tank. I hate when niggas come up and they start making fun of it. That look like the window from. All right. Who the fuck wrote this record? I bet you levitate. I bet you see God. Like, what if some chicks like that to you in a club? <laughs> you lying, girl. You want to show me? <laughs> <laughs> they don't be lying when they talk talking like that. Yes, they do. Yeah. No, 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 that's, that's, that's a little I, I disagree. Yeah, that's over, that's over I disagree the top. With that. They do. They do. No, I'm agreeing with y'all. We're not starting this with gender wars. <laughs> I agree with y'all that when they talk heavy, it be lies. I'm saying when you get to this degree of heavy, now, once levit- they get poetic and shit, levit- yeah, yeah, yeah once, that's coming from the soul. If man, somebody look you else. in your face and say, "I bet you see God," that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, you gonna levitate? It's like when that's why I like that Ariana Grande song so much. You nigga, you gonna think God is a girl <laughs> when I get off of you? <laughs> when I get off top of you, <laughs> you gonna say God is a girl? I, I promise song. you. If you somebody say that some some shit like that to me, it's down there. <laughs> it's, it's down there. <laughs> she got that gripper. I don't want that sex. Nah. What, that changes your religion? No. Change the, your life. None of that. that. The render me ineffective sex. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. That one. Now you can sign me up for that. I'm good. Yeah, when she started acting too cool, then you got to fucking DDT her. That's what keeps me. What episode is this? Uh, 624? No, 625. 625. Look at you. I mean, I'm, yeah. We're big male. 625? Yeah. Yes. yes. Welcome to episode 625. Oh, we got to turn that air on, dog. Confirm. I don't know what's going yeah, on right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Put that number down to like 70, 69, something like that. Uh, welcome to episode 625 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Big Melissa Ford is here. Uh, Flip is here. Ish is here. Ice is here. Burps are here. Indigestion is here. <laughs> Parks is here. Poe is here. Corey is here. My oldest is here. Trey is here. Erickson is in the back. And whoever's here remote is here remote. How's everybody doing? How are y'all feeling? Amazing. Good. Yeah, great. Feeling great, yeah. 
Any, now? Any great. pertinent shit y'all need to get off your chest at the top of this thing? Mm. No. No. I did a lot of appropriation over the weekend. Mm. Sombrero. Oh, yeah. Poncho. Yeah. Yeah. Whole shit. All weekend, though. Tequila. Maracas. Tequila. Tequila. Yeah, it's killer. It was in the bloodstream all Friday night. <laughs> Saturday was a little rough. No, it was up until last night. Tequila. <laughs> oh, shit. You kept going? Yeah, just kept going. It's like, fuck it. We here now. Oh, no. You're different. I was trying You're to look for my Spanish tie-in on Cinco de Mayo. I didn't see it. I went to Jay-Z's club. <laughs> fucking party with black people. <laughs> like, I was at the, the Mexican spot in Astoria. Well, a couple of them. They were crazy. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, a couple of Mexican spots. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Mm. Blackout, damn near. What you did? No, I didn't really blackout, but damn I mean, near. Push, push the, push the limits. Pushed it to the limit, indeed. <laughs> I saw <laughs> some, I saw some memes floating around though. The Mexicans are fighting back. They did. Oh yeah, it was, it was what June, you talking about? Juneteenth is coming up. <gasps> you ain't see what they were saying. And they already picking no. the same way we was picking on black people. We're picking their names for Cinco de Mayo. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What were black people doing? Like, so yo, what's your name? What's your name? For, like, what's your name? What's your name going to be on Cinco de Mayo? So yours would be Jose, yo, or Jolito, or something, something like that. So that's what they. That's what was happening. So the Hispanics so said, "Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> good for y'all. Go ahead and play with them." <laughs> no, no, they ready. Leave them alone. They said Juneteenth is coming. I see somebody say her name is going to be Lakeisha. Mm. Another one said my name is going to be Darnell. Been getting money, William. <laughs> I'll, leave that, them alone. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit. That, yeah. Don't get offended. We all are. We, we play part of this. But we all are not playing this. We celebrated game. Cinco de Mayo. <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't either. Thanks. Thanks. I sure did. I went to church. It was full of shit. I'm and if we did celebrate it, listen. The girls get to fucking on Cinco de Mayo, okay? Absolutely. Yes, they, they do. Outside. Okay? They, they get outside. to acting really lusty and sensualized and shit that don't need to be sensualized. Cinco de Mayo, yeah. To kill yeah. To kill you. To kill do it. What you did this weekend, Ish? Uh, Build houses. Work. <laughs> I know. You, that's what I meant. Did you appropriate? Did you get like some Mexican workers? Like, did you? Just, <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, stop. Yo, I hired them only for single to my life. No, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> When you let him go too long, yeah. Yeah. Look at his like, like the tool. it's yeah. like word Russian roulette. Yeah. Like, all right, that was seven words. It's the eighth word. There you go. Yeah. Is you shot. You finished? No. So uh, you didn't celebrate. You didn't do anything. Nah, we all went out Friday night. That was it. Oh, I went night. to church Sunday. Amen. So, Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I was just in that mood. I'm lying. I went to I went to a, um, a Christian. <laughs> I mean, a communion. But still, I went. I was in church. You know what I'm saying, trolling. What part of the Christian communion do you think is compelling for the audience? Let's hear it. I can't hear you say it again. sound fun. The Christian communion. Well, you, is there somebody here on Christian Mingle? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Chris Yo, Brown what? and what? Usher is where we will, is where we will begin. What? I'm, 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 Yo, what yeah. the f- <laughs> Chris Brown and Usher, the Lovers and Friends Festival was over the weekend. Uh, and I guess... On Friday night, it was Chris Brown's birthday. Mm-hmm. So they had a big birthday party for Chris Brown at a skate at a skate rink. Do you know the name of the uh, skate rink? I don't remember. I don't remember. Mm. I don't and that's not even important in the story, no. so fuck no. it. Yeah. Uh, but all of the big R&B guys were there. Usher was there. And the story came out uh, the next day that there was, a, there was an altercation between Usher and and you know how this goes, Chris Brown or Chris Brown's people or Chris Brown's security mm-hmm. or he was jumped by multiple people. We don't mm-hmm. know. We don't know. Uh, very next day, they both performed uh, at the festival. Usher did the, he did the cool version. His was the coolest version. Very cool. His was the coolest version of, hey, I see what y'all are saying about this fight online. I'm going to post a video of my face to let you know I'm okay. Mm-hmm. His was the best I've ever seen mm-hmm. that done for some reason. Why is that? It was smooth. Because he's just cool. It was smooth. He's cool. He he don't really do no goofy shit. Usher, so though. he's gonna find a way to make that. And even smooth. in that clip, his he looked agitated that he had to do something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Usher, you did have to do that. You did have to do that. Because when the story came out in the morning, Usher is still set to perform. 
I sat up in the bed. They put all types of shit on him. Broken ribs. Yeah, he was ribs. bloodied up. I sat up. Jacked up. I went to make coffee at that point. I said, oh, we don't have to be glued to the phone. <laughs> we got to see if Usher lumped up. <laughs> I felt uncomfortable hearing that. I don't like hearing that at all. No, yeah, you don't. Yeah, That's yeah. a travesty. I, I didn't like that. All right, I ain't going to come in here. I'm not coming here to cap, though. I'm telling y'all now, so don't wind me up. I'll get like flip. I'm not coming here to cap. Yes, it's a travesty. It's bad. I don't like hearing it. But also, yes, I've heard the same story about Chris Brown and every R&B nigga for the last seven years. Chris Brown threw that ball to right and Drake. <laughs> Yo, you know, he did that shit in Greenhouse. You know how small Greenhouse is? It wasn't in Greenhouse. It was Whip. Whip. It was whip. But whip, whip was right next same to the Same shit. Ceiling and whip, the ceiling and mm. whip is only seven feet high. Right. <laughs> like, yo, right. You ain't get no fuck, type of yeah, arch on no, that. Yeah. Yo, no arc on that. Cubs the Rose, eh? That's where you got that shit from. Right in his head. <laughs> 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 Marvel Moon came right out after that. Yeah. Hey, yo. You, he threw a bottle at that nigga and whip. No bull. He, he and whipped you know, that shit. <laughs> and again, the ceilings and whip, like, yo, if you standing on the couch, he, this it's shit, right there. Yeah, oh, yeah, because yeah. the audience might not know about whip. Audience, them ceilings and whip is lower than Gilly's bedroom ceiling. <laughs> Just as tight. Nah, for real. <laughs> yo, what's wrong? Why? why, why? Stop, I don't have time for you because I feel like it. That's okay. why. Okay. I feel like it. That's why, nigga. Got I ain't it. doing this with you today. Uh, <laughs> Frank Ocean. Caught that nigga coming out the studio. Oh, boop, boop. shit. That's right. Boop, boop, boop. I, I forgot boop, about boop, that boop. I, forgot, I, forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I forgot about the Frank Ocean what? Really? Yeah. I ain't know that. Shit. I didn't know that. Oh, no, y'all don't get You said some, some private shit, nigga. You no, know? I ain't. But I was out. All of this happened. Don't book the same studio as me then. They was in that little nice studio over there, too. <laughs> nice, that, that nice studio. But that's the problem with being a rapper. No, no, Everybody is rappers. recording. Everybody's recording here. Mm -hmm. Now you done came out to get you a Pepsi on the late night, and they got there with his whole crew coming down the hallway. You got a snap. They got it on. They got it on in front of that thing. That They fought for a little while. Frank was stealing all the interns. He had no runners. Let's see. Now you got... It was a fair one? Is there ever a fair one? Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Ain't no such thing as no fair one. But usher the whole... Or halfway course. And I love... This is my man, too. It's my, I love him. But Usher's... I, I, I was conflicted for the first time. I said, come on, Breezy. Ush? What could Ush say? That's how I felt at first, too. Like, what can Ush do? I, I immediately caped. Well, I read everything I, and just immediately started caping. I, I, like, oh, I get it. I caped shortly after, too. Though. I caped. I mean, I caped after. It's still wrong. It's wrong. But Is it? One of the rumors circulating about why was over Tiana Taylor. <laughs> I love Melissa. <laughs> and I ain't gonna I mean, lie. I said, it, it sounds, sounds kind of... Stupid and random if that was no, really not. actually. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, that, that sounded, sounded perfect. I went into that panic. sounded Why? perfect. I went into panic. Dig, that explained dig, it all. Dig, dig a I hit up really? Iman. I hit up Iman. I, I, I called Iman. I was calling Tiana. I went into panic mode to give Chris Brown an excuse. I was on some. I was on some gossipy shit. I text you, Yo, Joe. What's going on? I wanted you on three. I wanted I'm yeah, but I don't tell you shit. I'm steal my take and go put it somewhere. It's like, yeah, shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, gotta wait to see more. <laughs> That's what I told Got him. You. Gotta wait to see more. I pod with this guy. <laughs> That's how you know you're a menace to society. He would have beat you right to it. But anyway, Melissa. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Tiana uh, is more than a friend of the show to me. Let me start. Let me preface that's this with fact. that. That's a fact. Shout out to Tiana. Yeah. That's shout out to her, her mom, her whole, mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. I love them. But if, if Tiana had a relationship with Chris, I'm not saying romantic. I'm yeah. saying a friendship. And professional. Yeah, but I don't care about okay. that. They go way back. Right now, I'm putting mm -hmm. real names. I'm not putting mm -hmm. people's publicist marketing, publicist marketing persona it. out there. Okay. You are who you are. Mm -hmm. And if they are friends mm -hmm. and he felt like he wasn't supported some type of way in that friendship and now you just pop up. I'm making shit up right now. I ain't spoke to nobody. And now the first time I'm seeing you is at my birthday party. I'm saying something. <laughs> I Actually, I have done that before. I've done that very thing before. Don't beef with me all year and then pop up at my birthday party like shit is all good in front of the people that have been holding me down while I was fucked up. Don't do that. I'm not talking about their situation. I'm saying I have literally, you literally done that. Hmm. And now, you had, you had a little bit of alcohol or something into the mix. It gets even worse. Now, y'all yeah. done had some alcohol. Mm. And this conversation, I'm talking to you like the friend you are to me. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not talking to you like I should talk to you in a public all of place people. in front of celebrities and paparazzi and cameras. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm talking to you. You're making a face, but this is very true. We all here, all of us here have more mm -hmm. platonic women friends than, than most, most men. men. That's, That's a fact. Mm -hmm. thousand percent. And how I speak to my platonic women friends is how we talk and they understand me and they receive me mm -hmm, that way. Mm -hmm. That's true. So if they having that kind of talk and Usher has been performing with Tiana, mm -hmm. he has a relationship with Tiana, and he, he is the elder statesman, OG, mature, clean cut, hey, not here, not right now guy. So if he wasn't coming over there to do nothing else, I would guess he's coming over here to say, Yo, chill. not here, Yo, chill. Yeah. not now. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And get the fuck out of my face. Chris ain't like that shit. That, and that was my conclusion of that story. Once I heard that that's what happened. Yeah, man, I, I, take it step, I take it a step further from that. So after reading the report that comes out, it say Chris left. And Usher followed him. And Usher, now he, oh, I yeah, he went the bus. He followed him. He went the bus. But Usher might have been following him don't, with genuine intentions. Don't like, matter. Yo, don't ma don't I come, removed don't come on my myself from here. And you don't came come on my and followed me? You my little bro. Now it's... I'm going to come... I want to holler at you smooth every Not time. on my tour not, bus. Not, not right now. And not, not with all my niggas right here. Not, not on my not tour with, bus. And not with the liquor. Mm. The liquor does it, too. You, you got to remember, um, man, like, Tiana and Chris go back in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. you see the whole get light. So they have a real, real friendship. Like, they grew... Like what well, Chris was, yeah, and they're also else, like yeah. super part of like the super dance community. I, to yes, I, to I, to yeah, I totally it. get That's their true. relationship. It's just like, w like one of the rumors was that he was irritated that she was working with Usher, and that because of his scrapped you know performance at the AMAs when he was supposed to pay tribute to Michael Jackson, and then AMAs just said no, and then there was that. Whole that sounds like a lot of information but that could be a for somebody. Yeah, that could be a rumor. Three hours yeah, after this rolling. altercation happened. People start mm. making I'm not rolling with that. Yeah. And I also want to state, just to be safe, we don't even know that this happened. Right. True. That True. We do, True. None of us here have confirmed that this happened. We are having a conversation based off reports. F fodder. Yeah. And neither of them looked like they had a fight mm -hmm. when we saw them the next day. I want to tell everybody out there that don't know, if you have a problem with somebody or something that you want to say to somebody that could lead to just a different conversation, you don't do it on the tour bus. Mm. I don't know if I agree with that, but... No, that's damn near going into someone's nah, house. it's the liquor, yo. It's the liquor, I think. It's damn near going into someone's yeah, house. this ain't that. even a point but, to disagree. No, but I'm saying, yet. but if we got a rapport, if we have a rapport, and I think we got an established rapport, uh -huh. I could come to your house to have a conversation with you. If, if you my people. If I'm hot though, and we got in a fight next door or argument or whatever, and I take myself out and, and I go, go to my house, and now you come to and my now house, you come to my house, yeah, because yeah. people think mm. friendship because because friendship, the word friendship is there that people got to be all good with each other, right? Like you can have heated debate and intense mm. tension with somebody that you super cool with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they right. If I go home or I go to my respective corner. Let me cool the fuck off. Let me cool off. off. That's yeah. it. Don't you That's come it. trot your ass on this tiny tour bus where my goons are. <laughs> my goons are here. Our weapons are here. Our paraphernalia, our drugs are here. We're keeping cops away from here. This is our safe haven. And at the level they at, the kitchen is probably here. <laughs> like they, they tour bus is probably a little. They got the extended shit with the window mm -hmm. pop out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So now, yeah, don't come in here with all that shit. Now... Let me give my rules that have nothing to do with this. If you ask me, well, let me reverse it. If I ask you to come, no, I won't reverse it. If you ask me to come host your birthday party, don't hit me. <laughs> well, that's other, well, I agree. That's the other thing I read about this, though, is he didn't know that. That was a surprise. It was a surprise. It was a surprise, surprise party. All right. So worse. he didn't point, point goes to Newark boys. <laughs> No, I'm point, num side. point number two. If I take the mic at your birthday party and make the entire crowd sing Stevie Wonder's happy birthday to you after Mario finishes, don't hit me. <laughs> True. <laughs> if I organize and set up a surprise birthday party for you, don't, don't hit, hit me. me, my nigga. Okay, so I didn't hit you, I left. And let my niggas hit you. No, no, what I'm saying is, I could have hit you right there. True. I removed myself to keep it from escalating, and you followed me. If there was ever talk 
I'm caping, about, by the way. I'll tell you, I'm caping. So. If there was ever talk about me and you potentially doing a versus matchup, don't hit me. Don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to perform with you. Well, that's actually more the reason to hit him. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. But, but look at no, it's not. Today? Roll today? Out. No, it's not, roll, nigga. Roll out, man. Let's roll out, Let's man. Let's roll out. Today? That's nigga shit. That's roll out, man. No, roll out, man. They're saying, yo, now we're going to get way more viewers. Now niggas can't wait to see that shit now. Yeah. That that's, wasn't the first thing. That's true, too, but roll out. I got to tell you, my heart and stomach didn't feel the greatest. I like Jeezy nah. and, when Jeezy and Gucci Man was doing their Oh, wow, hell no. I just, told you, I came in here and talked about it. Just I, I felt like I was about to get shot. That shit felt so crazy. You were there. We have that need as consumers to see shit that we ain't really got no business seeing. It's like, like if, if y'all really at odds like that, mm -hmm. yeah, I ain't got it. I don't want to I mean, but that. once, no. Uh, no was, go ahead, buddy. Them niggas talked. Them niggas had all of this. This wasn't like the first time they communicating with each other on that stage. It didn't matter. Mm -hmm. It do matter. Tension was still thick. Mm. If me and you are number one and number two, Damn, nigga, that golf tan is for real. Vern is, you see Vern? God golf damn. Tan. That nigga just came from an island somewhere. Oh. <laughs> golf. That sound like hate, though, too. Nah, that's, 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 that sounds like hate. Not at all. That sounds like a little bit. Nah, I'm just congratulating the guy. If we are number one, number two, best R&B or best urban army, whatever the fuck you want to call them, don't hit me, yo. Don't hit me. I think Breezy just don't give a fuck how he's looked at now. Like he, if, just, he just doing anything. I, I disagree. It's my man. I, yeah, I disagree. I disagree. I, disagree. No. I, don't, I don't think he's doing anything. Man. I don't think he's doing anything. I think he's anything. trying his best to I, stay yeah, out. Yeah, I shit. think yeah. he's I think very. I left this situation. I left, nigga. Wow, hot. I left. Wow, hot. I left like to keep I'm from drunk. Whatever. To... I'm hot. Sure. I removed myself because I know anything I do is going to get blown out of my no matter that, what. So Breezy, I had to remove myself. Breezy is dealing with a lot, man, and. A lot of shit trigger him easy. Yeah, Which I, is I do, why I do more agree, of the I reason I'm saying the walk you. away. Mm -hmm. Yo, it takes a lot to walk away. Yeah. I got you. Especially, look, look, look. Especially when you got numbers. Mm -hmm. I got you, you're right. It takes a lot to walk away. Yeah. Fighting Usher is to crazy. The right. <laughs> why? I, I don't see that as crazy at all. It, uh, My stomach ain't feel right. Well, I just didn't like to hear it. I sure of don't course. seem like he's... Around the bullshit. Well, we don't know. I mean, that's true. Maybe behind, maybe know. behind closed doors, he's a monster. But I don't think so, man. He just wants to sing and dance. Skate. That's what you. That's, skate, the, 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 that's what time. you think, right? Then let's not walk away, then, bro. Yeah, you might be right. Maybe Let him walk away. I just think it was a friendship. Seven o'clock on the back. <laughs> think it was really cruising the streets off that bus. Yo, Shit, a rich yo. nigga wanted to start the fight. A nigga doing Never. well off don't start the fight. Never. He did, he's just having a good time. He's partying, they got bottles and shit. Right. Right? The nigga start the fight is the nigga's not doing as well. Love just three niggas, here's the picture. And rich niggas, you got tough niggas and niggas that easily become collateral damage. Ever seen a rich nigga one? I just thought it was appropriate right there. Did y'all hear that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard, I heard it. It was low, but. It was low, yeah. but we heard it. I'll turn it up in the mix. Hello. Yo, 50 like Jesus, yo. He just be having parables, just throwing out like psalms. <laughs> he be saying some fly shit that you just don't think about. He has survived a lot. He did. Mm -hmm. I like to hear mm -hmm. from people that have yeah, survived. He really survived it, yeah. A lot. I agree. You don't hit the nigga that made this, man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> How do you see this guy in the club and say, you know what? I'm about to smack the shit out of him. <laughs> you know what? Y'all don't deserve me. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I try to make so much excuses. You I, can't hit the guy that made that, man. I thought that, you know, Usher probably grabbed Chris, like, when he was walking away, and Chris might have just, like, get off me. It, you know, like, we try to make a lot of excuses, because I can't see Breezy just turn around, like, yo, my nigga, get up. Molly yeah, so I'll put you in your mouth. I can't see it. Yeah. It just don't sit right with me. I'm trying to make a lot, and that's my man. Usher probably tried to hug the nigga. He wanted to move his hands. You know, when niggas like, stop, don't touch me. Like, try to move around. His nose probably got hit by mistake. Mm. No, I want. Um, I need to see a side by side of Usher and Chris Brown to know just how much taller Chris Brown is Chris than Usher. Brown you need is like tail almost tape. a foot. You need the, the boxing tail of the tape. He looked like he was hovering above him during that. It's like uh, me and you standing next Chris to Chris is like six oh, four. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. <laughs> Stand up, sit next to each other. <laughs> no, we did this. Before. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> no, he likes six. Three. Usher Chris. needed to go get the skates then, like you. 
Oh, 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 oh Leave the rapper niggas alone. Oh, 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 little quick nigga. Yeah. yeah, he needed to be a little taller. Chris had the little fly Jordan one skates. They niggas look like they was having a good time. They did. Ended they ended up did. in some bullshit. And that's just some. I'm joking right now because y'all take me way too serious. And that's corny when you gotta tell you tell y'all I'm joking. That is some fly shit to do though at your birthday party in front of all the girls. <laughs> Yo, you see this nigga? <laughs> Yo, you see Usher over there? You like that nigga? I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. Oh, that's the nigga y'all said better than me? Watch this. That's what you said better than me? Look. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this, it's funny. That's funny. Skated right over. <laughs> We're gonna let it burn. We're gonna let it burn, all right? This nigga, yo. Now who's got it bad? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> he probably did that shit while the slow jams was playing. No, no, no. You can't hit the nigga that made this, though. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of this. I, I, don't, I don't know which side I'm on. Oh, man. Yeah, you can't hit the guy. This, this, this song made us spin the block, yo. It did. This song made us go get our girl back. It made it feel all right to be begging. Yeah. <laughs> you this felt song, all right to be begging. Like. Some of y'all left this on the voicemail. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I know it's some of y'all voicemail thugs out here. Y'all don't do it oh, no more, sure. but I remember y'all. I was one of them. No, y'all, I can't reach you right now. You probably. Right on the voicemail. You crazy? Hit me back at yours. Look, y'all in there talking about earliest convenience. <laughs> Yo, hit me back with your earliest convenience. I know convenience. you busy, but we yeah. just playing in the background. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. something smooth in the background. Hey. And that's only the first voicemail. You start getting aggravated. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I get aggravated, though. Let me, <laughs> let me <tell. laughs> I'm going to the house. I'm going to get the keys. I'm, I'm going to park outside. We, we know. <laughs> we know. Oh. Just me, huh? Uh, uh, Just me? Uh, we know. Just me? You my man. When you say that you love... Just me? Just me? Just for the record? Just me? Ish? Antoine? You? What? It's just me you talking That's about, right? Record. They get the keys and drive and pull up. That's a no or what? Hello? This is an audio Stupid broadcast. Stupid ass face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> audio adventure. Yo, Back in the days, that was all right, though. We got away with it. Like, these it was, days, you look crazy. And when I call him, my memory foggy, but I can swear it was at a decent time, like 6 p.m. or something. That nigga called 7 a.m. This nigga <laughs> he called. It was traffic out. <laughs> yeah, right he tried, let's go to the house. Pull up. He tried, yo, he was mad as hell. He couldn't go fast. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was it, tight. He was yo. sitting in traffic on that roof. Oh man! Is this true? Is <laughs> that rush? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> his dumb ass. He know it's true. This nigga a rapper, it's, yo. It's true. You know this nigga be doing. How long you sat outside for after that? I don't even know what Joe talking about. Mm. I bet he don't. Anyway, oh, moving man. right along. Uh, I said Usher album is coming before Chris Brown album. I believe so. Chris, Chris Brown. And he just dropped. Yeah. <laughs> I'm but, phony. But yo. don't be, be clear though. You know he put him out. He do. He yeah. put 30, 40 out. Yeah, like, yeah he got his songs right something. now already. Yo, you had to skip the topic because you related to him. Mm. It might have been you. Was it you? <laughs> 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 Where you was at this weekend, man? You was out there? He did. He was a little hesitant on his weekend uh, recap. He called Big Ish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll call my cousin. Where you at? Where you at? I'm going to call my cousin yeah. Ish Brown. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's stupid. <laughs> That's a fool. He, he's a light brown version of me. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. oh shit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> tap a hand at two people. Yo, I am for a couple of the boot bops, though. All day. <laughs> I, listen, I'm for old school. I ain't mad at a little boot bop. As long as nobody get like shot. Hurt? Shot. Well, yeah, I get it. And the way they handled it afterwards. Ain't nothing to talk about. Ain't hurt ain't shit nobody. Up. Ain't yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody. Y'all can think what you out. want. Yeah. Mm. That, like, again, we really don't know this ever happened. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite little stories. You don't know this ever happened. Yeah. Handle it in house. What else happened at Lovers and Lovers and Friends? Oh, wow. Well, before we leave Usher, yo, he, he debuted uh, uh, Hours and Hours remix with uh, oh, Money Long. Long. Mm -hmm. And it was absolute fire. I don't know why it never came out. But we need that. Streets need that. So, That's so. fly. What do y'all think about debuting shit at festivals? It's fly. Like, That's great. It's fly if the record is fly. If the record, especially yeah. like a remix like this where people kind of know the record already. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. When it's something that, like a, a rap debut. Not really. Yeah. It don't really hit quite. Don't yeah, be you got to be yeah, established too. Yeah. I think it don't matter today though. Like even at the festival, like how we seeing it. So it's recorded going online anyway. True. It's the same as putting it on your Instagram. It's, it's the same now. True. And it's Usher. 
Uh, you can do what you want. It's the same. Yeah. What I mean is the same. The reach goes the same way. Like if you do it on stage at a festival, there was things that used to happen like at Summer Jam years ago. If you wasn't there, you just had to hear about it. Mm-hmm. Like there's no record of it happening really. Now with everybody having a phone and a social media account, you still get to see it. Yes, from the artist aspect. I'm only thinking about from the performance aspect, which is I got 40,000 people in front of me and I got to do this new record. Oh, that could be bad. That could be bad. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that that's what I said. Yeah. If you're established. Unless it's, unless it's, it's a song that people already know. And you establish. With usher. another feature artist coming out like, this is this was fly. No, nah, people like, don't want to see. Even, if, even, if, nah, even established artists, you don't want to go see. Even when like Legacy Acts go out and tour, you don't mm-hmm. want to see their new slaps. You want to see the old Not ones. at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, but you can sprinkle in, yo, let me yeah. tease a little, yo, let me give you a little of this. One if record. I'm giving you all the slaps. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen artists do it. Me too. Plenty but it don't usually be the flyest. <laughs> Listen, shout out to Usher. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to them. Shout out to everyone that performed at the Lovers and Friends Festival. I've seen Genuine bust his ass. That shit was hilarious, bro. Yeah, Why do you keep doing this? Yeah, that's my man. <laughs> I think it's part of the show now. <laughs> <laughs> he falls so much. At some point, you got to realize you at that part of your career where you can't do you all chill. the jumping around. Now, but he falls all of that hopping too. over shit, and he yeah. falling just walking down steps and shit. Like, he hey, falls hey. funny. That that little hop down, he was like swimming for it, <laughs> trying to grab the air, <laughs> and then kept singing. <laughs> that's, that's when you know it's genuine. Like when you really falling, you be looking for shit, and they'll be there. <laughs> you really bust your ass. It ain't no stage shit. This was genuine too when they said Rocky at the Met Gala hopped over the thing and put his face, hand all in the white girl face and mushed her down and jumped over. <laughs> the next day she started tweeting. She said, "No, I am not uh, pressing charges or pursuing filing a lawsuit. Why would I ever file a lawsuit?" That's what she said. Yeah, she, she got that, money. Now that was genuine. She got money. That was genuine. Mm. I could have answered her <laughs> easily. Oh no, somebody answered her. A bunch of people answered. Yeah, her, I'm people sure. they told her. Exactly why. She might be up. Mad she, reasons why. She, she replied back. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the white girl. Is you think Hove got a secret kid? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not on the board. That's been a pervasive rumor for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> you put up two fingers? Yo, where you get this guy at? <laughs> don't hide, don't hide it. It's the audience can't yeah, see. This thing is, a, this thing is, you gotta watch him, man. He come in here and only think about the lens, not our feelings or yeah, nothing. Yeah, this nigga, man. Huh? Where, 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 where have been nitty at, yo? No call their names, they mind their business. I know, I'm saying I gotta talk to them to see what they instilled in you. I'm just saying you went like this. I went like nothing. I was scratching uh-huh. my leg, right? No, you bastard. was not. <laughs> this guy, right? <laughs> it's different, yo. Anywho, what else, what else is important? <laughs> What else is important or unimportant? Well, Drake is Nigerian. Oh, man. It's important. People are discovering their ancestry and, you know. That's why he's been making all the world music. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the next, now that's the next wave now. He's letting you know. Now that I done found out I'm Nigerian, I got to give you all. He's getting Afro yeah. Beats. That's it. Album is on the way. Afro Beats album. That mm-hmm. was another nice one. Yeah, another one. Well. <laughs> that boy. That boy good. No, no doubt about that. That boy good. No doubt about that. But how do we know he's Nigerian now? What happened? He probably did an ancestry test, yeah? Yeah, he did. 23 oh, and me. That, <laughs> that tells us. <laughs> yeah, and, that. and decided to give it to the world. Right before I dropped this Afrobeat album. Oh, uh, he giving logic ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God damn it. Man. Have you guys done ancestry and me? I did it. I'm, I'm part Nigerian. Who, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> She ain't gonna trip me up. Yeah, okay. She ain't gonna trip me up. <laughs> no, I haven't even turned my head back over there to look at my little somebody. <laughs> part, part you did it? No, I did not. Uh, Flip, well, see, you I don't think I'm Nigerian. I'm about, to, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I'm about to do one 23 and me. Shoot. Nah, I was gonna do it too, but I didn't. I was gonna do it too. I stopped myself after the third spit. The third time I spit in a little too. I was like... <clears throat> Wait a second now. What y'all doing with my shit? <laughs> where, y'all, where y'all putting my spit? No, no I'm sorry. Not doing that one. What? That, that, none of that shit. No, well, I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I I'm thought about it. I was going to do it, and I was like, nah, they ain't getting my DNA. I was on my woke shit. Then I had to do a paternity test, and I said, they got me. <laughs> they, got, they got me now. I might as well go ahead and let the niggas do my... I ain't, you know what I'm I ain't playing them games after my parents called try to check me. No way. Yo, it's too late. 
Yeah. Drake is a, as soon as he passed customs, he's <laughs> he, whatever. He's that. Yeah, yeah. What we doing here? What y'all? Where y'all flag? Point me, point me to your flag. <laughs> uh, our flag. Y'all want citizenship? Yes, he sir. Was, he Mr. was Jamaican Drake. at one point. Yeah, yeah, I ain't mad. Drake. I ain't mad at him. What else is unimportant? Didn't get that. Multicultural. Mm. Spanky. Mm. Oh yeah, we might as well get to the verses. Might as well do all of the verses right now, mm. all of them. Uh, there was the Puff announcement, September 9th, Madison Square Garden. Uh, Jermaine Dupri versus Puff. I think that that is the first of announcements. Was uh, that even an announcement it, though, or did it look like they just caught him talking to mm-hmm. Buster about that shit and somebody leaked that? That don't look like. Oh, uh, yeah. Ain't gonna fall for it. You it's can't it. you can't leak nothing around here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Just thought about that. Jay I, Head, I, I thought about who he's talking about. Yeah. Jay had G um sorry, Jennifer Hudson, she went on record and said that she wants to do a versus with Fantasia. I'm so glad that you brought that up yeah. too. Okay. What's your now give me your second, third, and fourth thought about that? Uh I think it's It's a trap. It's a loaded question. I see. It's a loaded you. question. <laughs> It's a loaded, it's a loaded question. It's okay. a trap door. It's just ants and. I think that it is uh, anticipated. She fell for the mousetrap. <laughs> <laughs> she fell for the mousetrap. You heard that loud <laughs> clack, that clang? That, that was it. That's the door. Got you. I will give you one more. I'll give you a reprieve. Okay. Give me your second thought, and then I'm going to ask a tough question, and I'm not editing it out. Okay, what what what's my second thought on that? Um, can you know? Can you name five Jennifer Hudson songs? I was just about to say. We can't hear you, Melissa. We can't hear you, Melissa. <laughs> yeah, you, you're anticipating this, so I did not know. say I am anticipating this. You said it's highly anticipated. I, the, I, listen, I'm what speaking research, in a general. What sense. research have you done that said that? <laughs> I looked at blogs. <laughs> <laughs> Cock sources again. Cock sources again. Can you name I cannot. four Jennifer Hudson songs? The one song we know of hers ain't hers. <laughs> yeah. What? If, uh, if, if the fucking classic. The one she and, made. The one she yeah. sang in Dreamgirls? Yes. No, her and... Uh, you gonna love me? That one. Yeah, yeah that, that one. That, the Neo yeah. joint. And the I, Neo wrote. It's fly. What song is that? Spotlight. And can y'all speak up? Spotlight. You know that song. I know. I know that song. Spotlight is dope. Okay. Stump, stump me there, fam. Yeah. We don't know, Joe. Mm-mm. So what's the what's the angle? She shouldn't say Fantasia name ever again. Ever. Ever again. And I can't name nine Fantasia songs. But the ones. But I the can ones name, I can name, they you go. better leave her alone. That is true. All of them. Truth is, I never meant to hurt you. Truth is, that shit is fire. Yeah. She, Free she, yourself is a point. I don't care what you're talking about. Uh, when I see you as a point. That's two points. Mm. Yeah, because. that's two points. That's, just because. that's, that's the end of Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, it's open. That's two points right there. Yeah. You got your luck. I knew you was. Artists right. got to be careful with all that. Me and such and such going to do a versus. Cause fans going to start telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and I fuck with Jennifer Hudson, but. And Fantasia is one of them. What? They both are. Vocally. Vocally, mm-hmm. yeah. But that Fantasia, ain't got nothing to Fantasia, do with slaps. Fantasia is underrated. Hey, what you can do vocally don't have nothing to do with slaps. That's true. Get on this <laughs> stage and play slaps. That's it. I think that they're going to announce uh, Puff and JD in Atlanta, too. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. That would okay. make sense. It's too big to only do the garden. That's true. And they didn't say that little little small, tiny room in the garden. They said the garden. Yeah, they said the garden. They said MSG. They're going to go get that Atlanta arena over there. Shout out to Trey Young. He has a podcast coming. Uh, they're going to get that arena over there. I just want to see if the the rumors are true that one will be R and B and one will be rap only. That's what they said before. I mean, they, their catalogs are big enough. Yeah, true. That they could do that. But how would that be a versus then? Because we're gonna just do our R and B catalog in Atlanta. We gonna oh, got do you, our got you, got you, got you. In New York. Mm. Got it. Understood. Because they got okay. so many songs that to to. to Get twenty mm-hmm. and compress what your catalog yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a hard. I can no, see I JD yeah. making Puff do the hip hop one in Atlanta. Mm. I can mm. see him throwing a wrench in the game. You come do the Benjamins out here where that shit might not be the Benjamins, mm-hmm. 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 and let me do my Atlanta mm-hmm. shit out here. Mm-hmm. That is true. Yeah, it's gonna be a celebration though. I don't think it's gonna it be is. Be oh, yeah, definitely gonna be a celebration. Yeah. But two, but two 
egomaniac, dope niggas. I still want to win. Yeah, y'all be talking that celebration yeah, shit. Nigga, People want to win. Yeah, niggas competition. Nah, but and there's always one person in this versus that feel like for the duration of both careers. Underdog. You've J- been, I've been having to hear your name. JD. JD. He's been saying it. Even when he first mentioned it, Puff like, yo, he don't, he can't talk to me. Like, Where's Dre at? He yeah, like, yo, what? JD, stop playing. Like, like stop playing with Dre. That's disrespectful. Even that. So no, that now I got a chip on my shoulder, nigga. I'm gonna show yeah. you. He better. I have Puff winning uh the hip hop one. Same. <laughs> Me too. Same. The R and B one, I think, will be tougher than the Jermaine Dupree audience would like to admit. That's all I'll say. Think I'm missing you. <laughs> he better not. If he bring out stick, he, that ain't bring him out. Mm, no. Bring him out. I better not hear nothing, nothing about missing you. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> not that wow. thing better not come trotting out there. We talking about Jermaine Dupree, dog. What does that mean? That means it's not time to play. And, so, that, so missing, missing you, you would be playing? I think so. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I think so. No, it would. I think so. Without a doubt, that would be playing. He can't play that. Without a doubt, it's, it's not even a full R and B song. I don't give a fuck. What, if he played it, he would. He shouldn't play him in either. In either one. Yeah, y'all niggas are musician niggas. I don't know what y'all talk. I think that shit is hot. So tell I'm me, I'm not a musician. It's a great record. No point. So where am I wrong? Tell me. You're going up against Usher and Mariah Carey. Catalog. Nobody. Um, what you yeah, you, we don't want to hear missing you. No, no, no. Against Usher and Mariah Carey. No, no, no. It's fire. And escape and jagged edge mm-hmm. and no, it ain't time for none of that. Yeah, you better. It's, it's time for Cupid. Yep, it's yeah, time. You, you gotta bring him out. Mary, Mary happy. Yeah, Mary. Mary. <laughs> yeah, you better Four, get. One, one, you gotta go. Yeah, get all yeah, yeah. Got yeah, you, you, got you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Don't, don't play. Be don't be playing. <laughs> don't play. Yeah. Who do y'all think will have more people come out in support of, like Puff. on stage Puff. to perform? No, I think. I think. I think no. it'd be even. I think. I think the Atlanta niggas. I, it's Puff though, yo. Puff call you and be like, "Yo, I need you here on May." Blah blah blah. You move some shit around for Puff. Yeah, and you. Do I don't that think JD do. We see people right. that had all right, wait. beefs with Puff still go on tour with Puff. That's a so. fact. All right, everybody, stop. I don't think we. I don't think we're. I think we're getting short sighted with this. A lot of people. The same thing you just said for Puff applies to JD. True. Correct. Mm-hmm. Anytime both of them pick up the phone, whoever in the world is coming. Mm-hmm. It just dawned on me that scene from my Usher Vegas show with all of them Atlanta niggas lined up. And that's what I was going to say. And I did say that it looked powerful. Yeah. That led to a conversation about just the breeding of New York and the breeding of Atlanta. I think that this is going to be a lot bigger than we even talking about mm-hmm. as I'm listening to us talking no, about No, I think everybody is showing up. This ain't just about Puff and, and JD. JD. Boxers, uh, this is athletes. the This is like everybody the must be there is coming outside. This you is gotta be there for this. Atlanta it's like, it's like a Tyson fight. versus New York. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. And they're going to take it and they're going to treat it like that. I'll tell you what. Ice will be in the building. Like, yo, the Atlanta. Maybe for both. <laughs> yeah, for maybe what y'all talking about. <laughs> Oh, I won't be there in that Atlanta one because what if he lose in Atlanta? JD, what if JD lose in Atlanta? Then what happens? And now you got to walk. You were seated in the front. You got to walk through the whole <laughs> the whole arena. <laughs> Niggas mushy. You get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, that's you, podcast ass nigga. Sorry, you hiss, right? You part, start playing Bone Crusher. It's your bitch. Yeah. <laughs> they, they ain't going to drop kick me when Bone Crusher come on. <laughs> dur, dur, dur. Nope. Oh man, <laughs> I need to be. I need to be in the in the thick of that. Nah, that shit gonna be. A it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be now in New York, I'll be to that one. I'll be to that one. I'm, I'm trying to do both though. Mm-hmm. Fuck I that. I ain't bad. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm I'm we, do we, we don't. We don't want to say it though. But I got. I got. I got puff. Who don't want to? We say said it. it. You're the same. Well, I started with that. No tippy toe and I think say it, say it loud and proud. Nigga. I just think that the, the R and B verse. You be at that nigga. Be yeah, as say it loud and proud. Nigga. It won't be as one sided. The R and B one won't be as one sided. I, I got Puff and rap more than I got Usher in R and B. You mean J D. JD. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what yeah, I said. I, 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 yeah. think, I think J D. could potentially win the R and B versus. I think he will. I think Puff just is gonna win the hip hop versus, but that just might be our. What records in rap does Puff? Not play. He got to play Woe. Moving around. Woe's coming on. Yeah. Woe's yes. On. Special mm-hmm. delivery? I don't know. Could. Mm-hmm. It could, but no. I, 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 no. I would say, yeah. You say no to special He got delivery. too many big joints for special yeah. delivery to, to even be in my conversation. <laughs> don't, right don't, 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 
It's, 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 it's honorable mention. When Whoa. You, comes on. Let's get it. It's oh. big. More money, more problems. Yeah, Juicy. Quiet is kept. Puff got a lot of slaps on his shit. Been around the world. Earthquakes, all of that shit. Nigga. Earthquakes. Can't nobody hold all me down. Things, yeah, things, all of that's coming on. Earthquakes. What was a what would be a, a record that's coming on? What was coming Absolutely. on? Absolutely. Yeah, what's coming Like, yeah. man, Puff shits just come on. Yeah. Like they when, when you hear the da -na 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 -na, you be like, oh shit! I that's remember fact. I was in X Y Z. I was driving this. I was in this grade. Like you just that shit just take you back in time. Like, Same shit happened the, to the, the Atlanta niggas to the JD records. The spot, the spot, mm -hmm. yeah, but the spot where Puff going crack imagine the features. Got a lot of features. He do. Puff got a lot of features. Yeah. This gotta be. This can't even be no twenty joints. I'm just thinking about it. This, forty this, songs. It's forty songs. If they doing songs. two, that's a sell. That's more than a. A, a, a real tour Niggas so, don't do 40 songs What song would you put money in the thing against? I was just about to say When JD throw that In a Ferrari Rory, a Jaguar Jaguars, what, you that, what, what song What song Puff coming? He got more a, money more problems? He got a lot to come out with yeah. <laughs> It's Puff yo It's Puff What you know about going out? <laughs> I don't know what you talking about it's Brooklyn's finest Mike Come on What are you talking about? <laughs> Brooklyn's finest losers I mean, <laughs> That's a loss He losing Atlanta don't ever say such a blasphemous thing in New York ever again. Money ain't a thing. Right. In New York, it's not losing to Brooklyn's no. finest. In New York, the money thing was. But fire. you don't know. Money thing you was fire. I, well, I don't know. All right, I you think out, that? You think Brooklyn's outside, finest losing to New York? Gonna, you can R and B me, nigga. In the nineties, I was outside. So you admit Vic that I can't R and B you? Victory. Yeah. Wait, everybody mute up. You can't. So you admit that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you got it. You Same got that? You recorded that? <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> what I'm saying is, nigga, in the nineties. Money ain't a thing. Man. Hey, yo, you Atlanta niggas. September, we wiping you up. Yo, that's it. Why are we doing all this fucking political talk? Why are we doing all this trying to be PC? Y'all know what the fuck time it is. Y'all know who invented this shit. Yeah. It started here. It ends here, nigga. How the fuck y'all thought was happening, fuck nigga? Thought, nigga? Fuck, we doing all that. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Uh, huh? Oh, well, I think. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Pack now what? Up, nigga. Packing them niggas up in September. Yeah. Take that shit to the, the theater. Smoking on that JD. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Look at Ice. Hey! Nah, nah, you hey! Don't, don't Yo, you with the? Moment. I don't want to hear all that Ice politically up. correct bullshit. These niggas uh, trying to have me on right get the now. Fuck out of here, nigga! She on the ass. Huh? One, two. Oh, what up? Here we go. Here we Atlanta, go. Atlanta, what up? Oh, what he's he standing play? up. Do you hate me now? Next. He can't play nothing. I'm playing it. I ain't say what he could play. He can't play nothing. He can't play nothing against this, nigga. Look, Ice, Ice ready to beef. Ice in his phone. Bam, I'm what? responding. You know, I'm, Ice got 20,000 20, songs shit. in that phone. Don't disrespect me like that. 50,000, 100,000. Don't disrespect me like 200, that. 200, 115. All right. You know that, uh, hey. Shit was crazy. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill, 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 Bill. What's up, Atlanta? Huh? <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Yo, stop before I get amped up. Hey, yo. Stop before I get amped he up. He just got to come out to that. Stop for like, yeah, that's it. That's number one. <laughs> Walk right out to that. Yo, that's number one. We just going to set this oh, shit off. Like, or hate me now. Oh, no. Oh, my no. God, yes. Oh, got to walk out to hate me now. Nah, now, nah, 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 nah. We hate me now. Let's go, Hold on, you making me nah. mad. Let's go, Paul. You making yo, me mad. On. I thought you was in Atlanta for a little bit, nigga. Huh? Get your shit up. Victory, yo. <laughs> with, I'm with you with victory. Victory sets I'm the with stage. You. Like, yo, I ain't here to play with you. Nah. Nah. Di nah. Victory. Uh, you want to do this? This shit, the city. Victory? Come no, right out the victory. Right out. Victory. This shit shook the city up, nigga. I was a kid like this. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What? Oh! Queens! <laughs> I'm such a traitor. <laughs> Yo, do me a favor. I don't want to hear no more. I don't want to hear nothing else about money anything for the rest of the for the rest of the part. No. No. Not to money anything. Not to money anything. No, no. Let's no. hear it. Parks. Money oh, no, anything no. probably wins that one. Nah, nah, not, yeah, not probably. Yeah, not to money anything. Oh, money anything is a uh, rap song. Double hard and double yo, I'm telling you, we old, yo. We old. This shit don't slap like that to these kids. And Pastor Cavassier do? To the kids? 
Yeah, they, they just performed it. I mean, they've been that song has been active and relevant for them. I'm saying I'm not debating this with y'all because I'm with y'all. But yeah, that song has been performed at mad award shows, mad festivals. They all come out. It's a big performance. It ended the award show one year. Like in a uh, in a live setting, past Cavassier probably goes up a little bit harder. That's though. what I'm. S- oh yeah, okay, I get it. Well, versus this is a live setting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Last Listen, night is coming on Atlanta niggas. Yeah. September, man. Yeah. Been hearing y'all talk about future too long, man. Enough is enough. Yeah, and, and enough ludicrous <laughs> Still, in the world yeah, to get yeah. that catalog. Yeah, sorry. 3K ain't walking through that hey, door. Ice, you get on your 30 year old shit. 3K ain't walking through that door. What's your, future? Uh-huh. What's your future face? PJ ain't got shit to do with this. Goody Mob, we don't care. It's up with Atlanta, nigga. Who you riding with? Don't sound, yeah, you sounding real Atlanta. I'm riding with Atlanta. What the fuck is y'all talking there about? You go. Ice then say that. Hey, I say ride that. with Atlanta. There we go. Ice. You gonna have there a long go. ride. The Them fuck? niggas again. on the arm on a hip hop? I just said I'm riding with Atlanta. Puff, yo. Chill out, Ice. Yeah, you said that living up here. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. You know he went to Morehouse. Some inside nigga. He went to Morehouse yeah. and Clark. Uh, inside the house, nigga. Inside the house. You know, he don't know where he's from. He was just in a house. Inside the house. Oculus too old, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Fuck out of here. I'm riding with it. All right, all right. Uh, what else is going on? What else is going on? We got two albums dropping this week, and it seems like the, the antics oh, yeah. are back. What's dropping? Uh, Dirk's Almost Healed is dropping Okay mm. Friday And, and Young Boy Young Who Boy told has, us he was healed uh, And, and uh, Young Boy is dropping a project called Richest Op Also dropping on Friday And, and that's, that's what you call healed? Richest Op? You don't you have to walk that back Walk what back? Walk no, it back, Ice. Dirk's album is Dirk's album healed. is almost healed. No, Richest Op is NBA Young Boy's album. NBA yes. Young Boy. Yeah. After NBA Young Boy healed. said, I, I will not start life. beef with anyone. Yeah. I am a changed man. I am reformed. Look at the range, man. I've learned from my old ways. All of that press run GQ is snowing out in Texas or wherever the fuck he was at. Bullshit that he <laughs> Utah. said. Utah is snowing out here. Oh my God, he was staying out the window. Get the fuck out of here. I came in here and said, crock of shit. Internet tore me up. You said I could be wrong. Now we're here. What do you have to Biggest say? op. I was wrong. Mm. And I was right. You were right. There we go. Salute. There, See, unlike a lot of people. Virgo live for that. Unlike a lot of people. Me and I Ish live mind. for that shit, yo. But I don't me and mind. Ish, that's our fuel. No, I know. That's y'all shit. That's our energy. <laughs> y'all need that. When we hear that, we go up. <laughs> See, I know. See, see, I know I'm right when I first say it, so I don't even need y'all to acknowledge it at times. So a Virgo's like, t-shirt cool. should say, I'm still right and you're still stupid. Like that's you guys. I'm not, I'm not a Virgo, though. That, no, I mean, that's Virgo. No, but mine should yeah. say, I'm still right, and yours should say, you're still stupid. Uh, <laughs> that's cute. You guys get a couple shirts? <laughs> what, are, what, are, what are you talking about over here? We've been over the bromance hey, yo, stage yo, of our yo, friendship, guy, too, yo. by the way. Yo, you <laughs> just be... <laughs> Actually, I think we're at the animosity yeah. stage. Oh, shit. Yeah, the, yo. Damn. the bromance, is, the honeymoon is over. Damn. It's over with us. But yeah, so um, like I said, Dirk announced his album, and Young Boy went on a Twitter rant. Mm. Talk at, about it. Going at uh, going at Dirk, going at India, going at Ak. Pretty he, much, he got at my guy Ak. He did. What do you That's say about Ak Man, though. What do you say about Ak? That's Ak Man, man. Just call, Ak loved call that him dude. Some names. Uh, not nice names, I'm sure. No, mm. Ak responded, <clears throat> and he said it's sad to see the day that you know my guy. NBA young boy has resorted to dissing in order to sell records. Damn. I know it hurt actor type that. Yeah, it did. That was his man. Why did he diss act? I was gonna say, why did he, what's the why yeah. did he, what's the provocation? <clears throat> I just oh, told y'all. Provocation. I have an album dropping Friday. That's it? Did Act do anything? Did Act say anything? That's what I mean. Like, Act said on YouTube that that, that beef squashed was squashed it. and it wasn't squashed. And he told Act. Nigga, I'll kill you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, mind your little fat business. That's what it's all. Get out of here, pretty much. Get out of here, nigga, you fat ass. Well, um, <clears throat> he said, your mouth is going to be the, the reason. reason. <laughs> and I kept reading to see the rest of the sentence. <laughs> and that was the end of the sentence. <laughs> your mouth going to be the reason, which left me to infer. <laughs> and I did. Yeah. Who are you projecting to sell more albums, Ice? I don't know. Dirk don't have a single. This is a surprise drop. Dirk. I don't know. And Dirk. I you got know. Dirk selling more. Y'all didn't come tell me I was right about them Jack Harlow numbers either. You said 30 grand. And he did 36. He did, yeah, he did 36. Oh, gee. You right. 
<laughs> you right. Sheesh. You right. Thanks. All right, let's 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 move up. <laughs> oh, let's move audience, on. they're about to unlock the Joe Button special move. <laughs> I just said NBA Jam. He's heating hey, up. He's right. Fire. He's right. Fire. Right. Fire. Uh, I got Dirk selling more than Young Boy, based off absolutely nothing. I don't have a stat metric. I'm not in the street to know. I ain't talked to the Young Boys to know. I'm going off nothing but my old ass brain and eyes. Dirk. Now, that's unless young boy label want to get froggy. Unless they pull a last minute. Labels are known to pull that last minute move. If young boy audience could get that album close to where they think Dirk is, I expect one of the labels to jump in. Hit the little button there. Hit the button. Mm, no, oh, he's, oh he's sold 200 copies more than Dirk did. Oh, that's unbelievable. The, that's the button when that happened. Yeah, I expect that to happen. So we'll see. And none of this matters. It don't even matter. It, <laughs> it only mattered to them. I know I got some nerve. I, I talk about logic. It don't matter, but it's fine. Yeah, they're the only ones. I mean, you know, they want to. They both said I, mean, thing, you, mean like things that. to each other. That shit the young boy said, I will not repeat, but it was very mean. About no. how he get. No, you don't need to repeat I'm, I'm it either. I'm, I'm just yeah. asking. That. I'm just asking yeah, you. Yeah, that, 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 that okay. one is the one thing. It can't be mistaken for any other sentence. That one sentence he said, you know the one. That was mean. You shouldn't say that about people. Anyone know if Dirk's responded to that thing? Dirk said, I ain't seen nothing. Uh, I don't know nothing that none of y'all are it, talking about. So it just doesn't justify a response? No. Uh, hmm. When I respond, you still won't know that I responded. Got it. There you go. Dirk said, <laughs> he only do numbers on YouTube. <laughs> Young boy. I got a chuckle out of me. I thought it was funny. What did the last project do? You can't ask me. I don't think that the niggas be doing bad. Young boy be doing like 75, 65. Yeah, that's great. I think that's great. But if you're talking from a major label standpoint. If I'm talking from a major label standpoint and you're dropping every month, month and a half, and you can give me them numbers, I'll take that. I think that Dirk's album will be better. Oh no, that's and different I, conversation I am here. A bigger fan of Dirk makes better music. music than I am of Young Boy, but I don't think my little young nieces and nephews feel the same. I think they ride with Young Boy. That's me admitting I'm too old for this. Whatever's yeah. happening, I don't know what's happening. I'll I'm not listen all to the way both. Invested. I will be running to Dirk's album first, but I'm going to listen to both. I heard Dirk has some heavy hitters on the album. That would help. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't, I, I don't have any other. This is a real quiet drop for him. Tokyo. He got him. He got him? He got him. Well, I we'll report back Friday. I don't understand the quiet Saturday. drop right after the loud drop if you're still on the label. I don't understand I don't that. get it. I don't. Unless... No, I was thinking maybe some it'd be one of them situations. Yeah, some late, like one of them mm-hmm. situations where you might be like last album or, yeah, or album, album before the last. Mm-hmm. The label don't want to spend nothing on your project now, <clears throat> and they're preventing you from you know. Or hey, we're not gonna do this. All right, well fine, I'll do it myself. Yeah, we're not gonna support it. We're not gonna do any put nothing behind it. All right, cool. I'll do it myself. That's well, the only way it can make sense to me. Mm-hmm. Because some of these artists are making a lot of noise with the project and then come back with another one and you didn't even know it was dropping. You tell me today that your album drops Friday or... What other albums are dropping Friday? Uh, y'all talk. I I'm not sure. I don't know. We don't talking. even know no more. It's fine. No, we don't. <laughs> now, <laughs> shit, some, some shit could be announced tonight. Yo, my album is dropping Friday too. That's how they doing now. I'm not laughing at this because I'm not laughing at this. But do y'all want to discuss the Spready Gibbs shit? That is just a funny nickname. Freddie Gibbs is, I fuck with Fred, Freddie Same. Gibbs. Same. I don't have no problem. I'm not instigating this. Fred, I love you. You stood me up. We're supposed to go eat. But that is a funny fan generated nickname over the story. Of it it is. is. What is the nickname? Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. Freddy Gibbs. Gibbs <laughs> because his baby, his new baby mom said that she got a, she got a picture of him in the phone with his ass spread or in the air. 
Stop taking the pictures. I told y'all last time. Stop <laughs> taking the pictures. I mean, you did tell us. You did. Stop doing that. Men, that's what to do that. No disrespect. They're not. Well, all disrespect. I'm sorry. Don't edit it out neither. Stop. <laughs> it's going to be used against you. You got nicknames, Spready Gibbs. Come that's, on. That is, it's the, it's Gibbs that's to why. spread. Like, it's come so on, man. Pause. I don't why. know if Freddie Gibbs is into the whole self-deprecating thing. But God damn, that's funny. <laughs> It's one of the funniest ones. Anyway. Who was the <laughs> recipient of the picture? His new baby. Nobody. She she the the so picture ain't out. So wait, it out. so wait, he took a picture spreading his ass cheeks just right. for to have it in his phone? Hey, No, yo. he said it to Here her, go, apparently. Uh? Here you go, about to Canada us out. <laughs> <laughs> or he took, he can't take the picture of his own stuff. <laughs> you can put it on a timer. Oh. You can put it on a tripod and a timer. <laughs> Let's just move on with this. <laughs> It's fine. Yo, if you niggas is out there, never you think, mind. You think, you think. Stop. <laughs> Maybe he had a selfie stick. Yo, <laughs> stop. What's wrong with you? Stop it, man. Oh, oh, damn, yo. I'm not laughing. Stop I'm not doing that, my guy. I'm sorry. I'm not this is my guy. Mine, too. And my phone will ring. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, man. And it's just, it, for me, I'm not, and I'm not going serious us out here, but that's like... A revenge, revenge porn, porn threat. Yeah. It is. Yes. Niggas got to stop. We y'all got to stop. Yeah. Who y'all? Y'all, yo, <laughs> you, y'all, yo, you. Park selfie stick. Y'all, y'all can't, y'all can't do that. Prevention. You can't threaten me with revenge porn if my ass is up in your phone. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. But dude, and let me tell you something. Yes. That story. That's my guy. So I tried to not get all the way into it. But that story is a lot going on. A lot of moving parts. A lot. There is. There's Do niggas be that open though? Like pussy Pause. that good? No, I'm just saying you be no, 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 not open like that. But <laughs> the pussy that good that you're gonna spread your ass cheeks and have her take a picture of it or do it for her? It is. Like, it is when it starts sounding like the car wash. Oh shit! When that shit start going. Hey, girl, I don't care. It's <laughs> about the ish. We're not doing that. Come on. You good, my Please, what are y'all saying? It ain't, yeah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't what that. are y'all saying for the people that are listening? I was about to say, nigga, it ain't that much car wash in the world. At all. At it ain't, all. It ain't no macaroni and cheese. It ain't no Talk motherfucking about tuna salad. It ain't nothing that's going to make me sit in front of no camera and let no girl take a picture of my asshole. <laughs> yeah, big ish. All right, you're not having a real conversation. What are you talking about? That is real. You got to stop trying to... Nigga. All right, that's cool, but my com my conversation is not based on would you tote your ass up in the end or something. That's not... That, so what's the conversation the, about, Joe? That's what you said. The, because it's a funny thing to, to make note of here, but what I get from the story that they told is one that I think many men can relate to. Girl gets pregnant, goes to the guy. Guy is like, uh... Now may not be the best time for that for me and what I'm trying to do with my life and my career mm -hmm. or you. Like, you want to do this with me? Mm -hmm. Girl says, all right, let me go see what I could do because she still loved the nigga or like the dude. Girl goes, doctor says, uh, <laughs> whatever, whatever you, wherever you thought you was, whatever WebMD said is not where you at. You a little further along. This is the same story that the Christian Rock girl just finished telling like this is a common story where women say but then I saw the little fetus mm -hmm. and I saw that baby moving and then I just changed my is you want to go to the store or something man because I know this should be triggering you did you not see the text message before where he was saying that he wanted to have a baby he wanted to have a baby with her you saw that I read the whole thread that's how those that's how those texts so go. niggas be open and doing it no and niggas be, be lying niggas be, you yeah. want to be compassionate yeah. to your pregnant partner and say Yo, Yo nah, that's just the life I always wanted. You're really setting it up for the week, two week, three week letdown of. So that's a wait, hold on. What so we the, really about to do? So the plan is to build you up. Just what, to via take tech? You down? Yeah, I mean, via tech. You're not. That's not. I think that's too serious of a conversation to have via text. True. So what mm -hmm. do you? Nothing about my response should be text if I'm feeling like I, mm -hmm. I, I'm not ready for this. With you, I agree. You can't text that and it come off right. I agree. True. Mm -hmm. And you can't ignore her. And that come off right. Mm -hmm. So you say something that's even keel. You say something like, I can't wait to have the baby. That's not even that's keel. That's not even keel well, at exactly. all. You, that is nowhere near even. I read that whole shit. I can't wait. <laughs> he called, he named the son Penny. I can't wait the little Penny come. I read that whole wow. shit. Like, oh, look at this. I hate when niggas, don't do that. Niggas lie to women all the time. We say shit that we do not mean uh, at all to women. So cool. I'm not talking about him. And that's I'm no problem. longer talking We're about him. That's the I'm problem, though. That's the problem. Talking, we're not talking about him. When you start lying and a girl internalizes your lie, yeah. then is she wrong? Right. No. 
for acting on something that you told her? No, nigga. And it's not, this isn't even just a little tiny lie. This is about sharing a child. I mean, we do. I'm, I'm being phony. We do lie. I, be saying, I don't know what lie. type of podcast no, no, cap shit, y'all sitting here doing. I be but I'm going to let y'all no, talk. No, 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 no. We do lie. But, but at some point when you get a, a certain age, those lies don't Or, fly. or, since I, nah. we live in such an ideal world. Or, uh-huh. the dude... Wants the baby with Shorty. Okay. Like, yeah. is excited and is naturally texting those things. And then he go talk to his favorite aunts and his uncles and his mom and his dad. And Got he talks to some other people. And they start slapping some sense into the mm-hmm. nigga about That's the girl. Possible. Yo, I was seeing the girl. She's she a just fucking outside the shark bar. Yeah, too, yeah, 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 yeah. You really want to yeah. have a baby with this girl. Mm-hmm. Like, that happens. Yeah. And then the dude could change his mind. That's true. That true. That's true. That's true. Dudes yeah. have rights in this fucking process. I was, I was laughing. Yeah. I was laughing the other morning. I just be laughing myself. How my cousin handled having his baby and how I handled having my baby couldn't be couldn't be more polar opposite. He handled that shit like a scientist. He, every whatever doctor shit he needed to know, life roots, your pad, your cousin, you, what your family did in the 60s, 50s, he knew it. When Sin called me, I was doing a podcast. Y'all, I'm pregnant. My, what you want to do? That was it. Are you ready? You ready? I had a baby. I know how this goes. You want one? I'm ready for one. That was it. Every male ain't so experienced. First of all, males don't even know how to communicate. But he got four kids, though. That is the truth. And you can't speak to the standing of his. That don't have nothing to do with nothing. That don't have nothing to do with nothing. Mm. I'm just saying that you you say every male what? Like, he said males don't know how to communicate. I disagree with that, too. I'm not. I'm, I'm just... Oh, please, which, which, we don't know how to communicate. You don't got nothing to say. But we can't pick and choose when we're going to be adults about adult You're shit. Fucking right. We can't pick and choose like now, oh, we're just joking and I'm leading you on or I decided not to. Nigga, you said it. You got to stand in it. Because at the end of the day, it's her decision. It's not back in the days we yep. or get them. <laughs> that's true. No disrespect. You go, I get, Let's find a tan time mark there. <laughs> but it's not back. It's what happened. I know. Like, come on, man. I'm not going to lie to the people. Right. There's some. I'm not gonna lie to the people. You know? <laughs> this is my thing in that, and I, I I feel even funny talking about homeboy's business. What I'm saying is this: I agree. if you text a girl, yo, I couldn't be happier. Let's have a kid. She's gonna internalize that. It's the same thing as when we tell girls, yo, I love you. They internalize that. So now, if you was just gaming and you don't love the girl and you told her I love you and you led her on, and now she starts to um, move like that's what you said. Yeah, my nigga, we gotta stand in that too. I've lied to a million girls. I'm Me not too. sitting here playing the high it, road. I'm saying, but when you lie to a... It's like you tell a girl, right? Let's say hypothetically, mm-hmm. you got a girlfriend. You tell a girl you don't got a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she see you holding hands in the mall after she sucked your dick last night. She's coming up. She's going to turn up. Yeah. Right? But if I told you, y'all got a girl, this is what it is. I'm in a relationship with my girl. It's a serious relationship. I'm not leaving my girl. If we fucking, we fucking on the side and you taking that position, she don't have a right to come up to you is my opinion. And she <laughs> knows she come up, whatever happens after that. I hate to that, tell y'all. No. She, 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 she I'm not saying that she won't. I'm not saying that she won't. No, y'all want it in reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucker for love type shit. No, that's reality. She know if you I just... tell you that I'm with, I got a wife and you try to come up to me in the mall, Nigga, shit gonna be like Avalon and O3, nigga. <laughs> this shit gonna be an earthquake in there. You know, you saw, don't approach me. At some point, me. he told the girl that he didn't want, he didn't want a child with her. Got you. He, he has it. a right in to change his mind. He, said he has a right yeah. to change his mind. No, he, he said it to I, her I like, that, that's that what I was happened. Say. He said, what you gonna do when she said she was pregnant? Before that, it was, let's have the baby and all, I can't wait. Then he said, what you gonna do? I did, I did see that Okay, part. but there's a time factor here mm-hmm. where... I'm not sure what the what the space of time is where he said yes I do want the kid and then he tells her he didn't. How far along See, was that, you, she? And that's the part that we can't do it now because I'm gonna come off as insensitive. I got you. But at a later point, that's the part that I want to put under investigation. Yeah, let me believe that part. because let me, because they're mm-hmm. they're. Let's just say that she's just like, all right, you don't want this? Fine, I'm not going to do this by, my, by myself, and I'm going to get the procedure done. But there's a cutoff in which you can get the procedure done. True. That's what I'm saying. So uh, that's, it, it, that's a really important thing. Here's the, the thing, though. Like, I'm going to put my cape on for him. Like, he, she said after they got jumped, mm-hmm. things change. Mm-hmm. Rightfully so. Right? You got attacked, embarrassed, whatever happened. You know what I'm saying? She said that, like, things change. So... I kind of understand, like, he's probably not in the headspace anymore. Nigga, they jumping me, my girl. Nigga, I'm a, he probably not in that space anymore. So things can change. Oh, she was with him when he got jumped? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she was with him. She punched somebody in the face. Mm-hmm. She was fighting, too. She was in the fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Mm -mm. A lot of shit might have changed, and then ish. What do you? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. No. And then, and then they said that you know the way she was talking about the fight, you know when it happened, how she was talking about it. He could have got. There's a lot of things that could have played into. He didn't want to have the baby with this woman anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things that she yeah, may have yeah, to take account of. Pick a side of the fence and stay there. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah, fuck out of here. Don't come to I my just, side now. I just remember, I'm not on your side. I just remember that she got drunk. I just remember. I be so ready to go in because cop on my man, so that's why. But, Ish, what do you think of what Melissa oh, yeah, had to yeah. say? This nigga, boy, you, boy, this nigga is a monster. Yeah, go ahead, walk the plank. I don't think it's a plank. I, I think that oftentimes, and oh, man. <laughs> He'd be so frustrated he took this job. Nah, like, <laughs> look, because he know what he's doing. Look, he know what he's doing. I think when the time factor comes into play, right? I think sometimes people use that to their advantage. I think that you could have been pregnant for two months, three months, and they ain't say nothing. Mm, you oh, so you ran out the clock. And that's where your your nutty brain was going. That's why you were sitting here looking. <laughs> Look, that's why you were sitting here piercing my Yo, soul stop. with your eyes. I'm trying to vault my man. He's over like there in the corner man. dribbling it out. Yeah, he over there he's like, over there Yo, now I'm going to pass it to you at the 23rd <laughs> yeah. and a half second to shoot the ball. Because I'm not going to do a gender war. Me neither. I'm I don't want to do, do that. that. That's why I said I ain't want to But do Melissa that. says a lot of gender war-ish type shit. So why you ain't go to war, oh, nigga? Exactly. Pull your gun out. Don't come the over here to me. The doctor said 10 to 12 weeks. Depending on what state you're in. Yeah. Especially today. Well, give yeah, me, that's give true. me more. Tell me more. Certain states have a longer time. Like, exactly. Oh, well, I'm talking about minimum. I'm just on oh, minimum. Yeah, certain mm -hmm. state. No, certain states. But of the you four can months. Do six. Six? Oh. Certain states is six. Certain states is four. It depends on mm -hmm. the state. Well, up here, I can only speak for here. Never they say six. 10, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, 10 to 12 weeks yeah. that you're too far along, we going. All right. And we can get all that shit out of here. We looked it up. Jersey is what, 14, 14. weeks? 14, 14 weeks. New York and New is York 24. is 24, 24 weeks. weeks, even longer. Which strengthens my, our, our point, Melissa. A lot of women, mm -hmm. in our experience, and I've had this talk too. Like, Ma, you didn't know that you missed your period last month? Well, it was a long late, but I just figured that, that's when it's always, I just figured that next month more, it was spotty and I didn't. That's when that comes out. But that means that you missed one. Two and I'm. This is sand. This is uh, sands the women that get pregnant while still experiencing I was about to say, a period. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. some women. I'm not talking about. I was about okay. to. I was going but to for do the <clears throat> for the rest, the average mm. or the, yeah. the most common situation. You missed one, two, or not even missed, but something was funny for three cycles. Mm -hmm. And now you having this pregnancy conversation with me, right? That that looks away. It looks away. I could intentional, see that. correct? I uh, yes. I yeah, could, and I then and then you know a, a guy. Um, you, you, emotions be high. Mm. You be sitting on the fence. You evaluate in your life. You evaluate in a long term relationship, which when you get pregnant or you have a child, it is a very long term relationship. It's not 18 years, it's 30, 40 years with this particular individual. True. And so now you kind of evaluate that. Well, so before you make a decision, you like, now while you thinking and, and, and pondering it over for a week, she done missed the cutoff time. Mm, yeah. mm. You pondering it over for 10 days She missed the cutoff time Some niggas take the heart out And and A lot of times when we communicate That we don't want the baby That girl goes to disappear for a few months And now you're just sitting there with your balls clenched Between your fucking thighs <laughs> She do She's gone How Well you don't, you don't know what you're gonna do And even this young lady Bro. Off of him She said hey he told me that I cut his phone off I'm reading that shit like, wait, that's backward. Ish, you need a new ring. You got to get a new ring. That's Come on, that's very fresh Flintstone. No. You sound like the T-Mobile, the old T-Mobile commercial. commercial. <laughs> <laughs> they updated the ring it's since Flint, then. Flintstone, but that is the T-Mobile ring. I fix it, though. Par pardon me. Change it. Y'all can't do, like, customized rings? Yeah, yeah I could. This nigga's crazy. It's <laughs> so old school, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where you at? The whole city behind us. You might as well just. Oh, you might as well had a chirp. <laughs> just, Stupid, yo. yo, randomly, I just think about the chirp times. Not me. You just be somewhere and a nigga, your phone that chirp and somebody no, start no, talking. Yo, where the fuck you at, nigga? Wait, no, what? No, 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 that's that's. The, Wait, what? Fuck them times. I'm in the super nigga. You chirping back out loud now? Nah, I ain't, nah, I ain't nothing. Just with these holes, just getting it pop. You had one of them. Yes, yeah, I, I, I was cool ish. I, 
You never had yeah, one? You didn't no. have one? No, no, he had a Blackberry. Think I had a girlfriend. He was running around saying, Blackberry is the most liable phone. 90% of Blackberry <laughs> send an email every time you want to send one. <laughs> I had a girlfriend. <laughs> this shit was the wave, son. I, I know. And you you got waved, I. Right? You did. Nobody used you did. the call service. No one. No, I know. it was all chirp. And all so, chirp. And so and now the shorty girl voice come over there. there. Yeah. yeah. Shorty hit you with your, when you at 130 when you with your girl with the other voice. Hey. That's your fault. She ain't supposed to have you chirp. Oh, okay. Nah, they changed the game. Well, they they found out how to turn that speaker off. Yeah. It was all right then. Which was the latest one you had? The A60 or the 9 Dog, no, I'm too cool to know what the numbers were. I had the burgundy <laughs> one. Yeah, the burgundy one. The yeah. one the little purple looking, the one in the commercial. The one that they wanted to have. had the old one. The one Ludacris had. That was the first one, 730. Oh, I don't know. What the A30 look like? It was one that was a slim one. The 860? Oh, no. I, ew! Ew! <laughs> that was fire! Ew! You crazy. That was fire. Ew, nigga, we moved on to the sidekick by then. What the fuck is you talking nigga, about? Nigga, I had a T-Mobile deal, so I know that. Ew, a slim chirp. That's cool. The slim chirp was fire. Yeah, nigga, this Web would have never used that. Show me a picture. You let, I, yo, you I, let, wasn't, I, I can't believe you let. I can't believe you let. no spot. I can't. The, hey. I can't believe you, you let Web down. You, you, How? Still, you still outside? Why she want to know if you outside still? It's 1 30 in the morning. Uh, mm -mm. Round of applause for Robert De Niro. Let me see that little. Mm. That shit was oh, fire. I had this one too. Shit, just, just take it back, <laughs> you phony ass nigga. I had this one. Take it back. <laughs> I had this one, but you described it wrong. It's the one with the digital screen. The, the, ew, I had both then. This nigga here, yo. I did. That's when they robbed us by then. They robbed us with that one. Um, Robert De Niro, round of applause. <laughs> Expecting a baby. At 79 years old. I think he had a baby. Oh, had a baby? Had a baby. Correct. At 79 years old. Either way. Either way. A blessing anytime a beautiful baby is born, comes into the world. How old is the uh, baby mom, though? Uh, let me see if I can find 44. It. I thought he was married to a black woman. 40. He was. I'm guessing. Grace Hightower. 40. But they got a divorce. <laughs> what happened? Oh, wait, shit. Wait, wait. What? Excuse me? What? <laughs> <laughs> and that was Melissa, everyone. <laughs> Shut up. Shit. You found an age? I can't find an age. Oh, yeah, they don't got an age. Some, some little tender on I bet she ain't 68. Well, I bet she ain't. <laughs> right, I bet she ain't 52. All right, well, shout out to Robert De Niro. I bet you he ain't say no. Get rid of that. Hey, yo, 79. You still out here laying them down. That's, that's nice. My granddad was laying him down at 79. Okay, movie. so her name is Tiffany Chen. Mm. Ah, la, 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 Chen. wonder if I'm going to be 80 years old, no busting way. up the club. If y'all can't find her age, then it was concealed from her. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't look super young, though. Like, she doesn't look like 25 or anything like that. Oh, 40 How old does she look? Mm -hmm. Cassie? 40. I would say she looks about... Come on. 35, 36 That's -ish? super young when you're 80. No, I, listen, <laughs> I get, listen, Al Pacino's dating a fucking 29-year-old. He's 82. So, she ain't that. You said she don't look super young and went up 10 years from 25. Hey, yo, dog, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro out here. <laughs> what is she? Well, she looks super real. young to be with an 80-year-old man. It's okay, baby. <laughs> what else is going on? Yeah. What, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Would y'all want to be that? What? Damn, never mind. Son. 80 and having kids? Yes. Yeah. 80 and putting my penis in a 35-year-old? I, I said 80 and having kids. So at 80, would you put your, would you put your penis in an 80-year-old? No. I, I'm with You're Rob. The, that's oh, can you fix the mic, please? I'm with Rob. Okay, I'm, I'm with, with Al, you. too. Okay. Okay. What yeah. I'm saying is, no, when you up, up, and they rich, rich, it's not the same exact struggle as having a kid when you're 40. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Or when you, and you ain't got no money. <laughs> the, the, the last thing they're going to get treated the, bad, the worst. The who? The last thing they're going to get treated the worst. That little baby ain't going to get treated nice. By who? By the, the older kids. When they get older, they're going to be crazy. Nah, that should be real with that ish. <laughs> oh, I, I take It'd be your, real. I, take I think word. they said his oldest kids is like 50. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> But a newborn is a brother, a sister. Come on, dog. We're not, <laughs> Talk come that on, shit, come Rob. On, dog. The young one went, yeah. Talk that crazy. shit, Rob. Y'all niggas is crazy. Yeah, yeah, what I, decision that the baby gonna make when he get older? Congratulations to Thank Rob. You. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We love you. Shout out to Rob. 
She's a Tai Chi instructor. Melissa Ford, <laughs> put your <laughs> phone <laughs> down. Please. Thank you. We appreciate it. Trying to mind. Uh, what down. else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Jonathan Majors hit with another one. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, so Jonathan Majors, he virtually appeared in court. His court date was May 8th, and um, and that's when the judge hit him with another DV charge and also told him to um, that there was a protective order um, that he needed to adhere to. So this new charge carries one year in jail. Question, the, yeah. the new charge is a different person? No. Or they just added a charge they to just the same add, case? They, they okay, added a different. new charge to the same case. That's different. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that, hmm. that, that's drastically different. Yeah. It is. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm. Not to me. No, because I thought it was a whole different female. No. <laughs> Spell, spells the same thing to me. <laughs> JM. <laughs> 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 I'm fouling this tonight. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, his next court case is scheduled for June 13th, and the judge told him that if you do not appear in person, I'm issuing a warrant for your arrest. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> it, it's in New York. Mm hmm. He pissed somebody <clears throat> off, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They on his, yeah, they yeah. On yeah. yeah. He, he ain't pay his initiation fee or something. He ain't do something. Uh, something yeah. happened. Something happened. He ain't do something. I'm telling you, something happened. Is it a fall from grace? <laughs> or is he still falling? I'm just saying. He, he, he looks like he's still falling. Okay. Yes. I guess Creed, the Creed uh, story is going to focus on the daughter sooner than they Do thought. The daughter will be boxing. <laughs> she will definitely they be boxing. Yeah, hey. They bring it back to the loan. Yeah, they bring it back. Yeah. Sly right back. Yeah. Sly probably set that whole shit up. Creed, the new Creed gonna start. He's gonna start with it. 25 years in the future. <laughs> 14 years. The year is 2057. Nah, what they did was they said, oh, okay, Marvel, so y'all not gonna replace him, right? Watch this. We're gonna add to it. He's gonna keep putting the pressure on. They trying to get him out of here. Mm. And once all other companies and shit started pulling away, okay, we got them. Oh, the big one's still standing. We'll add a little bit more to it then. Marvel might mm -hmm. chill for two years and see how it Nigga, you over. can't chill for two years. Mm -mm. You can't. Mm -hmm. Good luck to that gentleman, man. Yeah, good luck to him. You can't chill. Especially <laughs> now. Two years, with this, especially with this strike going on. Mm -hmm. Good luck to him unless he did that shit. Free you in advance. Right. <laughs> Yeah, be good luck if you're innocent. I'm using my that. new shit. Yeah, I'm using that. That's nah, good. That's good. That's good. good. Yeah, that's good. Because now real. you get the yeah. you know. Yeah, buys you some time. It's best to move for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and a totally unrelated story it has nothing to do with none. I think about my pinky is broke. Mm -hmm. Like all of us that hold this fucking stupid iPhone like this, uh -huh. like this, with this just weight laying on your fucking pinky. Every day, that, that's dangerous, yo. I think we need to find a new way to hold this iPhone. Hey, Joe, you got the ring on the back of your phone. I'm also a man. <laughs> well, why do you have the ring on your phone? Because I like this case. But I, oh, you thought I got this ring? I was just wondering. Nah, you trying to play me? I will hope you now. So you can take yeah. selfies, I huh? I will hope you don't. Yeah. You thought I did this? I, 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 you thought I, that I did this? I with was my wondering phone? why you had the ring on your phone. Have you, ever, you? have you ever seen me do this with I, my phone? Dogs, I wasn't. Any judging man you? out there with the ring on the back of their phone, you can't use the ring part. <laughs> I would have cut that off. I would. That's why. I, that's why I'm like, he got the ring. fire though. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not fire. No, I'm not gonna use it, but fire. Men should. Men shouldn't use that. But they should take pictures of their ass and send it. <laughs> Come on, man, With that little it. ring, you probably get it off. <laughs> Don't use the platform uh, to yeah. diss people because, because you, you have yeah, friends. Because yeah, yeah. you friends with people that have a beef with them. Because I am cool with Freddie. So now you are putting me in a spot because you are yeah. rapping for Jim. And if you're going to do that, then I'm going to start talking about how your man didn't even let the teeth settle in his fucking mouth yet before he go started getting crazy. Who? So... What do you want to do? We can do whatever you want to do. You talking to me. Yeah, 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 drink, drink. I'm not the one to talk to like that. Whatever you want to do, we can do. Let me put this down. Because you didn't call me all weekend and say that. What do you mean I didn't call you all weekend? I did call you this weekend. No, that weekend. That's not what you said. It wasn't whatever you want to do, you could do. Sure. Humble up. <laughs> nah, I'm not humbling up, nigga. Humble Don't talk to me like that because you're yeah, <laughs> 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 like that, that shit, man. 
But nah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm, I'm chill because you you know you did. psych, nigga. No, but if you ask me to chill, I'm gonna chill. But if you if you challenge me, I'm gonna go. I don't want to challenge you. So I, ask me, so I, I ask you to chill on camera. Ask me to chill. Put your ego aside and ask me to chill. Now no. <laughs> now no. Can I get my bread? No, no. What bread? You you're supposed to pay me on Monday. You didn't pay me at all. That's why I shouldn't have paid you all that thousand dollars. Because he think I owe him a thousand dollars now. I have nothing to do with that. My exactly. shit went viral. No, 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 not just that. You could have paid me my money and nobody would know anything about it. Yeah. Could have said. Right. Where you get them Air Forces with the peach? Here you go changing so. the subject, y'all. Pay attention. Y'all yeah, said it. Look, <laughs> they say yo, he, the way Joe get navigates out of paying Flip is fire. No. <laughs> and some of them out there do think I need to change the subject to avoid paying Flip a thousand dollars. I know there's some people watching that believe that. So you promised me Monday, bro. I got you, bro. Not right now. You I'm did a- all that to them? No, because that means you're showing favoritism. Focused on the show right now. I didn't do theirs on the show. I can't do yours. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. I waited. I said I was going to do it. The audience don't care. Anyway, uh, Tory Lanez. It should be news in right now because uh, today we were supposed to oh, find yeah, out if he was, yeah, was uh, going to be granted a new trial. Uh, didn't sound too promising for the Didn't sound time, promising right? at all. Yeah. Kicking people out the courtroom and all types of shit, right? From what I read, yes, it read. It, it sounded like the judge didn't got. It sounded like they ain't got time for none of this shit today. On, yeah, they made their mind up. They standing by the decision, and well, they just don't want the media circus that came along with the last shit. They invited the media circus. The court, they invite, yes, they invited that media That's circus. LA. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be a media circus. Yeah, and but that was one of the points I saw Tory's new defense bring up. It's like, dog, I'm I'm reading the case. They referred to him the whole time as Tory Lanez. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that too. Like, why would you be talking to this guy as Tory Lanez and he's Daystar, whatever his name is? Oh, you're not, you, didn't, you, didn't, you, didn't, yeah. you didn't help to humanize him. Mm, that's that's true. true. And you're just feeding into the, the mess because Daystar won't get the uh, attention, the attention yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that Tory will. I also read something about uh, the new defense. The new defense wouldn't have bothered to bring up the love triangle that... Uh, the old lawyer brought up with the whole Kelsey and May said it didn't connect in the courtroom and it helped to feed into the misogynistic rapper stereotypes that they were already painting about. But the defense brought that brought the love triangle up because they were trying to say that it was um, that makes sense to us. It yeah. makes sense in in my barbershops and yeah. mm. that Kelsey was the one that shot her. That was why the defense brought it up. And yeah, the, and yeah I, but if you never mm. say if you never get to mm. yo. Kelsey is the person that shot this girl. This is how she did that. You, don't you never do, do none of that? No, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. In the article that I read, they said that they were doing a masterful job of leaving the reasonable doubt open that potentially Kelsey shot her. You don't want to say, yo, she shot her. You want to leave it open to say maybe Insinuate. she did. I couldn't yeah. disagree more. Hold on, let me finish. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. They said where they fucked up mm-hmm. is when the lawyer, the defense attorney mentioned the interview. Now you and, when they, and, when, and when they mentioned the interview, because the, the judge had already um, made the interview be inadmissible. When the, ju- the defense attorney mentioned the interview, now that allowed the prosecution to bring the interview into testimony. And that was one of the big things that fucked him up. When they interviewed the girl Kelsey for two hours plus, mm-hmm. and she was saying all of that shit, the judge had already ruled that inadmissible to the defense attorney mentioned it in court. And when he mentioned it in court, now it's fodder. I mean, now it's go time. But that's what they said. So you the de- definitely de- want to de- leave the, de- the de- reasonable the doubt. Crack. Yes, you definitely want to leave the reasonable doubt open. You don't want to say Kelsey shot her because Kelsey got on the table and gave a testimony that was damn near cool for them. But Kelsey, True. Kelsey's also not on trial. I know. Yeah. So you want to leave the reasonable doubt open? No, I want to say she did it. No, you don't. To put her in jail. No, you don't. I do. She already struck a deal with him. I know. You just want to leave it open that he may have did it. Yeah, because you know? their, their whole yeah. thing is they got to prove it was him beyond the reason. Yeah. yeah. So so all you got to do is just leave a question of maybe somebody else not did it. E- or you can flat out, you can did, flat out say they didn't it's do a that masterful person. Job of that. Yeah. Yeah, I disagree. I don't think they did a masterful job of that, number one. And the jury clearly didn't walk away with that opinion. Either they walked away like no because the other shit happened where they pulled Kelsey's testimony into the courtroom. If we not, that was the, that and then that other witness was the two major pieces that fucked him up. If but if you, what if your story about the Kelsey uh, uh, defense opening up the door with the old interview never comes up, mm-hmm. the eye the only eyewitness flipping is what I think would be a major that concern. Was, well, wait 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 time out time out time out my my. 
recollection of the trial was that he was um, found guilty of possessing the firearm and shooting the firearm recklessly. Mm -hmm, So mm -hmm. who shot her doesn't even matter because that's not what the charge that he's being charged with is. Yeah, but if you can't prove he shot the gun, there's no reckless use of a firearm. That that, witness flipped. What you said is why I'm refuting what Ish is saying. They didn't paint a clear picture of he intervened to try to stop a fight or Damn, over a gun me. that was going on. That wasn't made clear. <coughs> and I and I again we we going around the circles. Listen, I don't care. Yeah, I think they it's did over. it on purpose. It's yeah. over. I don't I don't think I don't think he's getting out. I don't think he's getting out. I don't, think he's I don't well, know how much time he's gonna have to do because sentencing hasn't happened yet. So he said, please don't ruin he said to the judge, his plea was please don't ruin my life. I could I'd be, be your son. son, I could be your brother. brother so yeah. he's facing like twenty years. That's I believe is the max. Um, yeah, not about to get to her next one. Yeah, no, I mean, I know. Um, well, no, I actually I don't know. I don't know that. I don't, I don't know, know that. that. You're right. I, I don't, don't know, know that. that. They offer the deal. You don't take the deal. You made us spend all this money. You made it. Sometimes they the, like to make what an was example. The deal? What was the deal? Do you remember the deal? Yeah. The, uh, they was, was going to drop two of the major charges. And, and he could have pleaded out to um, possession of a gun or some shit. And Something then, light. And oh, ended up with what? Surf would have took that. <laughs> Free surf Surf is the plea god boy You get what I'm saying Like yeah. it was some light shit That he could have taken He said no Not just that And I think this Damn I, This is a black man I don't wanna But During but, his During his talk trial out of it yeah. Like during his trial He didn't humble himself No the, no, he didn't He didn't exactly. humble himself And stay low during the trial You running around You smacking people You doing a whole bunch Of, of, of You know Braggadocious shit Now that you in this Hot water, you want to come and humble yourself and say, Please don't take my life away. Should have been acting humble. You should have been doing that shit while you was in trial and take and took mm-hmm. that shit seriously. You didn't. And you was taunting shorty like you should have just chilled the fuck out. Ish, if you if you heard chick tape uh chick chick tape three. <laughs> I was just listening to it yesterday. Dog. Yeah. This nigga's a fool. No, no, no. Have you heard it though? Seriously. All jokes no, I did. Exactly. Listen that's, to that. that's that's the problem. Listen, Tori. Win, lose, or draw, I need you to call Vibes Cartel people. He has the cleanest <laughs> jail studio I've ever heard. Facts. Facts. Vibes. I don't know how he's doing Nothing but slaps coming out that jail. <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how he's doing it. He might be hotter now. <laughs> yeah. Somehow, right? Uh, yeah, you need to get in that Vibes, that vibe studio. Get, get chick tape stupid, out. stupid, yo. We're Vern going to golf. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Woo. <laughs> Yo. This nigga stupid. Come on. This is your man, Tiger Woo. <laughs> What's you don't doing? remember that movie? It's all right, bro. What movie? Tell me. Shaft. When the nigga Peoples was like, you play golf? Tiger Woo. What year did that come out? <sighs> oh, tight. 2010? 2015? Oh, a new shaft? Yeah, it was the remake. Oh, was look at you trying to be funny. Look at you know what I'm saying? Look at you trying to be funny. Yeah, nigga. I ain't watch no, Jackson. I ain't watch no new shaft. With his son, with his son? Something with his son? Oh, man. Never new fun. shaft. <laughs> Y'all are disgusting, sir. Uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, fin- uh, finesse two times. This is funny. All right, well, I don't know if this what is true. Do finesse two times had a show out in Alabama. And he sent his brother to go perform. We gave him a little ski mask. People in the audience start taping. They're like, wait, that ain't finesse two times. That is not him. So, so he finessed. He finessed one time. Again. Yeah. He no. finessed one time. Well, if he's already got two, this was the third time, at least. At the very least. How'd he find out? Yeah. What do you mean, how they found out? He is that like him. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like him. Please what do you mean, me. how did they find Please out? Tell it's me. people like you that's making <laughs> artists do stuff like this. How did they find out that wasn't him underneath the mask? He didn't lip sync? I would hope he The vocals was like, no, nigga, you don't, whenever your voice come on that mic, it don't sound like the song, nowhere near it. We know that's not you. Come on now. What are y'all talking about? Y'all don't need to pontificate everything. That ain't him. <laughs> you don't get that? The fuck? I hate, with, even with the I hate like, stale like, podcasters. Like, you don't see your I hate them. Y'all be serious when they tell me, oh, well, how did they how did they come to find out? This nigga, it wasn't film. him. That's why. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? We want the proof, nigga. That's it. He ha. pulled the mask out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> and I'd have gotten away with it too. If it wasn't for, for you meddling kids. kids. <laughs> oh shit. What do you mean? They called him up on the phone, said, yo, dog. 
we got to do something about this. And Finesse, he didn't really unconfirm what they were saying. <laughs> he didn't say, now nah, y'all lying and y'all wrong. It was, see what happened was. <laughs> they got to back to you, I had some shit going on. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling y'all, anybody that does that automatically goes on my wall of fame. Angry. MF Doom, rest in peace. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. There was someone else that did that Somebody shit. else did it too. Jeremiah did it too? Somebody with a twin, yeah, I think. Now somebody yeah. did it with a twin or some shit. There's one more that we missing. Yeah. I and that shit. finesse two times. Oh, I, I, I wanted to do this from years ago. I wanted to do this back in 04, but it was looked at like, well, it wasn't looked at like anything. Taboo. But in 04, I wanted to send somebody else to the show. Man, go ahead and do Pump It Up real quick. Get this money. I was mad as shit looking at my brother in the face. Nigga, you don't look nothing like me. You don't look like You can't pass for fuck. Stupid, yo. Anyway, shout out to Finesse. I'm not time. mad at that shit, bro. I like that idea. I'm sorry. I'll be mad Except the getting caught fan, part. Bro. If you yeah. can get it off, get it off. He got him. It's the era of the scammer, man. No, no, no. no. The era of the scammer passed. The COVID, that was the era of the scammer. I'm talking about and the nobody scam. still ain't talking about their taxes. <laughs> Error of COVID. I can't wait to watch the doc. I Word. hope they call me to do that doc. Nah, Sometimes they call me for things. It ain't gonna come out for like 20 years, 25 years. Nah, maybe nah, 15 now. Nah, 15 now. With the COVID Hulu's scam got doc. Hulu, yeah. right now. Hulu about to put one out soon. <laughs> yeah. They jump right to it. Shit is crazy. Yeah, what they, what they just announced? Hey, you guys, COVID is no longer a national health crisis. <laughs> Nigga, the, the, the head of the CDC just retired because they found all these lies. But keep it moving. I don't think that's why he retired. It's a lady. I don't think that's why she retired. I think she cashed out her COVID stock. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the deuces on you, nigga. Go, go, go live Let it. Let me ask you something. You think nobody has stock in COVID? I think people, absolutely. In COVID? Things yes. related to COVID, yes. <clears throat> no, COVID. <laughs> Fill me in, bro. Pause. Pause. Look at you want to be spreading now. <laughs> <laughs> spreading it. Spread it. <laughs> You're not doing that. <laughs> oh, not even close. Well, listen, don't laugh at ish like that. I... But no, nah, they definitely, COVID, niggas made the phone calls and came up, up. Up, up. Mm-hmm. Up. Moderna stock was $20. Before that. Shit went to $482 a share. Before that, they came up. Mm. Yeah, right when shit started going bad. See, oh, you, sell, 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 sell. You should have took your little Spotify money and just dumped it all in Moderna, and we'd have been up, up. Spotify ain't giving me my money. <laughs> <laughs> that was the problem. That was the problem. Spotify, yeah. Spotify did not give oh, me that man. money. Um, do we care? I care. Fuck it. I'm not asking y'all shit. Boy, the white crime. Take yeah. that, Jack. Who raps better, MGK or Jack Harlow? MGK. 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 When he's rapping. Yeah. Who makes better songs? Probably Jack. Jack. Yeah. Hmm. It's Jack. It's yeah, it's, it's, Jack. it's Jack. It's Jack. No, I was, just, I was just trying to think what was better than Wild Boy, but um, yeah. It's Jack. It's Jack as of right now. Uh, what do we think of this? What you mean? I mean, what do we think of this? Anybody this with some ears see that he smoked that shit. Yeah, but who cares about that? What do you think? We talk about the, the, yeah, just the fact that he did it. We ain't heard from him like since he dissed Eminem, right? I, I love that, though. I like that he I popped up in his man's backyard looking like... I just... <laughs> right next to the weight bench. Yeah. With the weird hat. That was hard. Yeah. I like that. I like the fact that I didn't go to the blogs. I didn't go to the Instagram and right on the white page, on the, on the black page. I went to the booth. You said you were the... What he said? What was the Jack Harlow line? The second... Greatest Second rapper. greatest rapper. Second greatest Eminem. Yeah, after Eminem. Okay, cool. If you say that, Rap. you have to expect for people to respond. But mm-hmm. that's the that's way to the respond, response? though. That's what I'm saying. I don't like to go cut the camera on and start yelling at your camera and put it out on Instagram. I don't like that as a response. And it was nice because it's just a quick jab and then yeah. I'm going to keep yeah, rapping it. well mm-hmm. around that's it. it. That's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. I miss that. I miss people. If it's over rap and over I feel I rap better than you, then what I'm going to do is rap. I see why they call you Jack Man. See, that's the thing, too. Like, if your name is whatever your name is, you got to think of how other people are going to flip your name around. 
That's right up your alley. I yo. see why they call That's you. right up your alley. You would have had about 14 more jacks in there. Of Jack? I wouldn't have ended without Jack <laughs> Daniels <laughs> coming into play. Dog, you I would have not have ended. Jack in a box. You were the boy. All the jacks. Yeah. Passe yeah. Jack. <laughs> Jack Tripper. All of the you jacks is coming out. I'll put Jack in a box. I Jack in a box. Now. Hey, I, I know you're here. I can hear you now. You want to rap. This one goes right for me. This one that goes right for me. No, I can hear you. I can hear you now. No, I'd have fun. What? The whole verse. No, yeah, I wouldn't end it. Yeah, you yeah. went crazy. That's the thing, like yo, even with the podcast niggas, yeah, you really gotta be witty, yo, because this nigga he's really a rapper that excelled in beef rap. True, you gotta be witty, my nigga. <laughs> You jacked man, so <laughs> <laughs> it's not better than the beard is weird, but it's up there. That's hilarious. That was hilarious. That was funny. And that it was shit true. was funny. And it was true. <laughs> that Who is the best funny. white rapper? I'm not I'm not including him in it. Uh like now. Oh. Hmm. We don't even know too many of them now. It's right? not too many. It's not that many. MGK ain't been out for a while. Drake. <laughs> That's fine. Jake Drake is Nigerian. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Drake is Nigerian. <clears throat> you ignore us, huh? <laughs> Yo, it's the well, What rappers is there? Yellow Wolf. Did I say that right? <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, sir. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Crazy. Y'all need help. Uh, let me hit the round of applause for Bronny James, who has announced that he is going to USC. Really, really big deal, especially when your dad didn't go to college at all. Like, that's got to feel amazing to watch your son just go to school. Just, that's got to be great. Yeah. And you moved to L.A. It's good to see this type of shit come to, just come to life. Said he got uh, $7.2 million in NIL deals at the moment. Highest Woo. paid NIL, NIL athlete. It's mm -hmm. amazing. You getting it. Mm-hmm. As to be expected. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, we legacy, don't have legacy, yeah, legacy, legacy, legacy. Brownie. Thing, dog, you couple mil up before you even graduate. I was talking to somebody months ago. I was at a work gig, and we were talking about Bronny, and I guess they were saying, yo, it's so hard to, I was supposed to have an interview with him, and it's so hard to get on the phone with him because his mom just the way that they guard him it's like you can't and it was just so annoying and I'm listening to this person I'm like yeah. that's annoying annoying <laughs> do you know who you're talking about a high schooler first of all no not just that I'm protecting my son I've seen everything over we know the last what 20 doing. years we know what the vultures are yeah. so I'm gonna protect my son from you niggas yeah no doubt but also he's in high school you shouldn't have access to high schoolers for conversation at your whim. That's, that's weird. That's, that's opposite that's of, of AAU culture. No, that's true. That's not true. No, high, high, no, I'm saying no. You're right. High, I mean, you're oh, right. Yeah, high, yeah, right. high schoolers all the time. That they want yeah. They want to not only talk to the people that mm -hmm. can help them, but they want their parents to talk to them. They want them to take the truck, take the under the table brown bag money. They want that. <clears throat> but the average high schooler ain't. You ain't got my LeBron father James. A B. Yeah. My father got a B. You, whatever bag you bring in, we'll need. I got a go yard bigger than that. We good. There's a lot of stories out there of people like allowing, you know, being in high school or last year, allowing agents to come and fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? Lenny Cook was one of them. You know what I mean? Oh, and what Lenny, Lenny Cook just asked me. What I'm telling you is. I want to have him come up here. Your agent can't speak to a nigga that, your agent can't do nothing for him. Mm -hmm. My, damn near my uncle is the biggest agent in basketball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't do nothing for me. My father is a billionaire. True. It's nothing it. that an agent can tell me. I got you. I don't need your money. And past billionaire, my father's the all-time leading scorer of the NBA. A lot of information comes with that. A lot. Mm -hmm. of, I've been around camps. I've been around the media. I've been around all of that shit. Like, this boy's I, probably, I sit down at dinner with my father every night. Or whatever. And my, you know what and, I mean? Like, and again, Rich Paul has known me since birth. Mm-hmm. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, you can't come in here and say nothing. What he probably knows more about the sports business than... I get it. I get it. I get it. Listen, I just want to say congratulations to Bronny. Yeah, no doubt. And LeBron and, and his wife. Yeah, James, the whole family. family. Whole the family. whole family. The whole family. So they put a lot of pressure on, on, on uh, that other brother. Bryce. 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 They put a lot of pressure on him. He, he looks like he's going to be the one, though. 
That's what everything I've been reading. They've yeah. been saying he's he's the one. Yeah. Dog. What are you supposed to read from the James family? Not from him. No, I'm talking about from the basketball scouts. They were saying I know. <laughs> that he looks better than Bronny. Like, they, Bronny's improvements over the last year and some change have been astounding. But two years ago, they was like, he all right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but the kid Bryce, they say, is amazing. Y'all yeah, think we see um, Bronny and Bron play together? <sighs> yeah, I think... But, on the same team, I don't know. I think that LeBron now can go to a place where he could just chill. And I'm going to average 18, 6, and 6. I'm he don't have to 18, live out that. Don't, LeBron don't have to live out that bullshit lie he told when the critics were saying that his son might not be as good as advertised. That's when LeBron came out and said, yo, wherever you go, I'm coming to play. But he looks like he'll be fine on his own. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't see them playing together, especially not with LeBron looking like he's going to the Western Conference Finals yeah. now. Like this, the, the draft is next year for him, for uh, Bronny. Right. If he's one and done, he probably will. Be. He may he not. Probably be. will be one and done. We assume most likely. Most players of any type of notoriety are one and done. Yeah. And that one is just because because you have to. Yeah, it's a requirement. Yeah. They're talking about changing that back. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're talking about changing it back. Adding some other little funky. Some other loopholes. Yeah, some other loophole. If you don't go to college, it's the new it CBA. It has to be two years. The uh, new CBA. Two years G League or something else they're oh, putting okay. in there. Um, we on sports. Let's get right to it. Uh, Knicks ain't ready for prime time, man. Not at all. I'll get right to it. Not, not at all. I'll get right to it. It's not a shock. It's not a shock. They're not far from I have them. many takes. I have many takes. One is the Knicks are not ready for prime time. Two is, like I said, the Corey over the weekend. I forgot that he went to the finals a, couple years a year ago. or yeah. two years ago. <laughs> like, there's something to be said for a team that's been there, even if it ain't the same team. Same coach, Pat same Riley court. there. Alonzo, yeah, I'm same. sick of looking at Pat Riley and Alonzo Morning looking cool on the side. They <laughs> <laughs> look like money, right? They look too much like it. Too, like, yeah. too much like it, though. Yeah. Too much. Miami glow. Yep. So one rich. morning I was in Miami. I was like, let me go to breakfast. I went to my little French toast, my little spot to put the ice cream on top of the French toast, whatever that dessert shit is. And they're sitting there. I'm sitting at the table. I got a girl with me along. What? I'm talking his life with yeah, ice cream right? on top French of French toast. Yeah, that ice shit cream. that was down there, First Street. I got to make oh, it right pink? over. Big Pink. Big, big Pink. Big Pink. A little thought of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> big Pink. And yeah, why you was at Big Pink? Oh, I was always at Big Pink. After the club. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Let's go, man. Brunch. Mm. Hanging out. Hanging out. Hanging out. Catching the vine. But anyway, I went there one morning. Alonzo Morning was sitting in there eating some healthy shit. Pressure. But he was like sitting there eating man tall. Muscles and shit. Like shoulders. Yeah. Now, now I walked down with him, and I'm just looking at him. That Miami son on his skin. He looked like he'd been rich for a long time. Pat Riley took yes. him, did him right. Pat Riley, I like to see stuff like that. Me too. He groomed yeah. him. He, he groomed him. Same with Eric Spolster. Mm -hmm. Same with Tim Hardaway. Well, at least at some point it was. I don't know if it might be Rocky now. But I like to see that. Mm -hmm. Even LeVar Ball kids. We saw my LeBron and Bronny and, mm -hmm. and Bryce. LeVar Ball, when they was like, all right, one of them is definitely going to get to the NBA. They laughed at him when he said, I want to see all my kids in there. Yeah, he said, yeah. all three he of them. He said, all going. of them gone. Yep. And they all went. Well, two in a pop. Two in a pop. The other dude, uh, he'll get a contract get at some one. point. Go get one. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Knicks. Not ready for prime time at all. Seem to not know what to do with fucking Jimmy Butler on a hobbled knee or Max Strauss or Celeb Martin or that other little William Short short dude that's pissing me off. They annoying me now. The niggas that you was dissing. <laughs> I'm still dissing them. I'm still dissing them. Good, yo. I don't, they are good. So I'm not going to take anything away from the Heat. They're beating whatever this is the Knicks are putting on the floor. I also don't think that this is the Knicks. They, this, this they is, don't look hungry at this all. This is not no. the Knicks. Can you talk about the Lakers? Do, don't jump in on my team. Let me get my takes out. You talk about your team. <laughs> the, the Knicks do not look anywhere near the way they've looked all year. They've been a better road team. They had a better road team than home rec, uh, road, road record than home record. And they look uninterested, not enthusiastic, lifeless, out there quickly didn't play the last game I knew that was a recipe for disaster they just look really 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 bad and if none of that was confirmed for me it got confirmed when they 
put the timeout and Tom Thibodeau was in the coat in the timeout saying that. And then for some reason after the game, Julius Randle said to Miami Heat, maybe they just wanted more than us. That was crazy. Oh. That was crazy. That first round was a chip, mm. I guess. It's not true. Something happened. Something happened. <clears throat> What's the story? Something right happened. Now? Well, Julius was three one. Julius was tight oh, after sorry. that first round, right? Mm. That was the first round, or was that in game one of the second? Game two. Game two, where he was tight. He, he didn't ball. play game one. The only game that we won, he didn't play. Mm. And now you come back, and we lose every single game that you back. I think that's and that TV schedule that I talked about. If there's something going on in the locker room, a, a one day in between games is not enough for us to fix it. That's true. Jalen Brunson didn't look like himself. They just look like there's a growing frustration there. Something is going on. The Knicks look like pure shit. And the second round for me is for us to get rid of the teams that look like that. Like we want to cut on quality basketball Word. now on Wednesday and Saturday. And that last game, I find myself saying, yo, get these clowns the fuck out of here. Mm. Get them out. Like, why am I? I'm stopping my, 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 schedule, my schedule for the week. I'm basing around when the Knicks come on. Yo, Knicks come on. They go out and drop a dub. Yo, Saturday, we right back. Uh uh-uh. uh. They go out and do that. Nigga, suck my dick. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm Meanwhile, not the Lakers y'all. Warriors series I'm not playing has been niggas. fucking excellent. No, I ain't done. My I'm bad. still my Ben. Bad. Fuck out of here, <laughs> Dolphin fans. <laughs> <laughs> Step on my shit. Stupid ass Miami. They go into the middle. They drive into the middle of the lane and not even trying to put the ball in the hoop. They just jump it in the middle and throwing it out. <laughs> Stupid ass Knicks running all around, scattered. I'm like, yo, y'all don't see that they not even they not even attempting to lay the ball up when they drive to the middle. Kevin Love, 45. He put the ball in the hole, driving in the middle. What the fuck are y'all all standing there guarding around for? They guarding Bam at the three point line. They can't crack a zone. Mm. When the last time you seen a team play zone defense the entire game? It's disrespectful to watch. <laughs> Nigga, at the park, you wouldn't let no team play zone the whole game. You would hit one of them. <laughs> Throw the ball in one nigga's face. This shit is a fucking mess and a disgrace. I do have the Knicks. Actually, I'm not even counting on I don't care what happens the rest of the nah, season. Yes, they, they don't look good enough for me, to, for me to predict Gentlemen, what will happen. 4-1. Yeah. They don't look good enough. I think they one or two pieces away. This is where you need a Donovan Mitchell. You need a Donovan Mitchell when your team can't figure out how to beat the zone that they've been playing for two games straight. Two games. They ain't made one change. I think I think Eric Spolster's putting on the clinic and the coaching and the adjustments. Mm-hmm. He's out coaching Tom Thibodeau. Um, I think he made one change after game one and they ain't had to change nothing else. They've been doing the same thing since game two. He ain't made no other change. Every time Jalen Brunson touched the ball, put two niggas over there, we playing zone, they can't shoot, and they just gonna have to beat us like that. He ain't done nothing else. The Knicks, hey, that's a coach. If it ain't broke. Bro, this is the thing. The Knicks, and, and, uh, Cleveland, this is my opinion. I think Cleveland was the more talented team. I think the Knicks bullied the shit out of Cleveland, and Cleveland was soft. The Knicks bullied them. You can't bully the Heat, yo. I think you can. <clears throat> I think you can. I disagree. They just not doing it. They can't. Because they look bipolar. They look something looks something You're not looks bullying different. Bam. You're not bullying Jimmy Go. I mean, uh, uh, Jimmy, Butler. Jimmy Butler. You're not bullying them. So Dog. that shit that they was doing. <clears throat> you named two people. The two stars. Donovan Mitchell, Donovan Mitchell Donovan did not McNabb show. Donovan did what he did. He did not show up. <laughs> you, that's why you, I'm shocked that you're saying we need Donovan Mitchell. He I didn't show say up. that. No, no, stop, stop, He didn't show up in the fucking Cleveland series. I didn't Cleveland say series. we need Donovan Mitchell. He disappeared. I'm saying that a player on the cap, on the level of Donovan Mitchell, Dame Lillard. Dame. That's Dame why you different. have those guys, Devin Booker. When you watch the Denver series, <sighs> Denver be beating them the whole game. And Devin starts no, going nuts. On the left wing, and then on the right wing, you got to deal with KD. Ooh. These are scorers. Now what? Now what you going to do? Gonna you gonna need do? somebody who can do that. You, you're right. That could get you Normally on, for the Knicks, that is Jalen Brunson. But I can't lie. Having a shorter, skinnier, smaller player on him with, along with the double appears to be frustrating. And having teammates that don't seem like they want to play is frustrating, too, as a team That's leader and point guard. <clears throat> that looks annoying. I'm done. Knicks, sayonara. Smoking on y'all. Uh, what's today? Oh, tonight. Yeah, tonight. Smoking on y'all tonight. I hope that y'all have enough class, dignity, and self-respect to at least put up a valiant effort in the garden 
and not embarrass yourselves at home. Go on the road and lose. Do it in Miami. Don't do it here in front of in front of us, please. Please no. Four two sound a lot better than four one. True. Especially when you won game one. Or one game, you can't lose four straight. But Julius Randle, I don't want to play with him. Might be. Qu- Quentin Grimes, you should have went home. You my man too, but you should have went home. You was out there doing absolutely nothing. You stood under the rim and three players just kept grabbing offensive rebounds. Let me get that out. Platform. I thought he was going to do good. Nigga, you are underneath there. I, th- I thought he was going to do good. Come on, man. Help me out. What am I doing? Tell me about the Lakers. Come I'm on, mad. Lakers, man. Come on. I broke. Um, What's the Lakers series at right now? 3-1 Lakers. 3-1 Lakers. Um, Again. I, I just think... <laughs> I keep reiterating what I'm yeah. saying. All right, don't do it again. Dog. Say something different when you're up 3-1. Come on. Nothing. We, 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 we look good Um, in spurts. I think uh, I think the fact that we got Steph playing defense, which he don't play often. We attacking Steph. Everybody that gets the ball, they attack Steph, and we making them play. Steph's looking old. Your father came in and said he never seen Steph look tired. We've never seen Steph look tired. Probably in the best shape in the whole N- NBA. Yesterday he looked low. I mean, the bigger problem was um, Clay didn't do shit. But Clay goes through spells where he don't do shit. Then he'll go through a spell where he just scores 27 in a quarter, and you'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, but you can't have your second best player giving you nine points by the fourth quarter. Like, that's not, that's not going to work. Oh, like AD be doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but AD already had 20-something points. I'm saying I know. Clay had hey. nine points in the game. AD had 13 one game, 12 one game. Like, eight ish. Yeah. And that's different yeah, yeah, from a yeah, big seven man. Your 7 seed team is up 3 1 on a defending chance. And I'm man, happy. Get and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm not I would be in here talking shit. I know. All right. Laker fans are so disappointed in his representation. I know. They are. Yes. And, and I don't, and I don't blame they them. They, are absolutely, they are absolutely right. I don't care. Laker fans shit. listening. Right. Joe is rejoicing with y'all. I I'm know, I know, I know how that feel being up to one against the best shooter ever, and being scared that he' about to come tied to up and then win on y'all home for it. That got to be scary. Mm-hmm. Got to be scary, not knowing how AD is going to perform in those even number games, not knowing which bench player is going to come alive. All that shit has to be scary if you're a Lakers fan. But y'all are Lakers fans. And it's three one right now, though. No, I'm talking about before it became oh, three one. Okay. But one. even still, before that but win last be, night, yeah. when it was that nervous, that yeah. nervousness. Like the Miami three one is different than the Laker three one. If you're for a sure. fan, no, it's different. Period. It's different. For whoever you are, you expect yeah. the Knicks to get go home down three one. You don't just you not, still you don't can't count, count the Golden State out at three one. Yeah, That's but true. you could read a little. You can un- you could unfast your belt. I'm, I'm yeah. happy. I'm happy. Hey, I tell you like this: Philly tied the two two with Boston, and we was one second away from it being three one. Eat, and eat. I'm telling you, niggas is breathing a little bit better yeah, I agree. with it being 2-2 I agree. going into game five instead of it being 3-1. Yeah, absolutely. That was, That's all. It don't matter how it go. Just that, that shot went up. I'm like, I'm, I looked at the, at, the, uh, at the shot clock. Oh, 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 it's red. I don't give a fuck what happens. <laughs> My dad is a conspiracy theorist. Thing. So he, he's, on, he's of the belief that LeBron makes the NBA more money than the Warriors. So they're going to try to push him through. Now, I do think the NBA is a big fan of storylines. So, year 20, as LeBron broke fucking Kareem's record, yeah, that would be a nice storyline to have him go. But I just think that that Lakers team is a defensive-minded team with players that can execute the defensive coach's plan and scheme. Them long, young boys that they running around them, even the last play, LeBron and the Lakers' healthy respect for Steph Curry and the Warriors – is making him even communicate in ways on the defensive side that I've never seen. Like that last play when LeBron was like, I, I cut that baseline off so when they throw it and it was a turnover, it's just like, I like seeing that chess game, that chess game played between them two. And, uh, no, I don't have the Lakers going to the finals, though. They could. But they have a shot. They could. They could. But they have a shot. I thought Denver was a lock, but they started, oh, Phoenix started sh- showing Fool, up. Fools, if you're the Lakers, who you want to play? It don't matter. I think uh, both the other teams are better than the Lakers. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Denver is big, tall. Athletic. And, yeah. Skilled. So they, they match up well with the Lakers, and I think they're deeper than the Lakers. And the Phoenix, they just play pretty boy ball. They, they play, you have to out. 
The Lakers want Phoenix, I think. Uh, we definitely. The Lakers that, want Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. I think we the beat Lakers Phoenix. want Phoenix. I think we beat Phoenix. I don't even think it's going to be hard to beat Phoenix if we're the Lakers. I'm not going to go that far, but no Chris Phoenix got to get there. And a lot of y'all wrote Phoenix off when they was down 0-2. Not I. Not I. I did not. They play a lot faster without Chris Paul. Bro, they faster. play a lot faster without Chris Paul. But the thing is, dog, if KD and Book don't have Superman performances, they're not going to win. But one of them is going to at least... No, I said collectively. You mean both. Yes. Yeah, but that's only because DeAndre Aiden is a shell of himself and doing absolutely nothing out there. Or And got the nerve to be mad that they took him out. <laughs> he mad they took him out. Like, yo, dog, D... D they said uh, Booker's last 45 shots. I think he made like 34 of his last 45. Like some shit you never heard of. Nine. Yeah. Some shit you never heard of. Him and KD collectively are scoring 70 and 80 points in the one game. So the, the minute that one of them is off, yeah, they going to lose. They both got to be So I don't know if they can sustain they that. For they six, also, they also could not be yeah. off. True. They don't be off all. Them two could <laughs> not be off at least for two are, games. They are. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. I just don't see them sustaining... Both of them getting 30-plus every single night for six, seven-game stretches. It's hard to do. And plus, like you said, the time thing now for the rest of the playoffs is every other night. Mm -hmm. These niggas, KD ain't no spring chicken, nigga. Every other night matters. That's what hurts mm -hmm. me about the Knicks. As bad as they played the last game, they was in the game with four minutes nigga, left. Nigga, Brunson, yeah, Brunson was... Five minutes left. They were still in the game. Yo, if he had one nigga helping him, he didn't have no if he had one nigga, help I, I, I was like, damn. Oh. Yo, cut his left off. He going left. He it don't even matter. I'm gonna force my way left, and I'm getting a bucket. They got him on. on. They they For the him up, and still every shot, every shot, all them <laughs> tough ass shots he put up, he they be going shits. in. He makes them shits. He needs he some help out there. He makes them shits. Fucking one serious, slasher, man. like one. You know what I mean? Yo, your will to just want your just will is important. You could be the most skilled person in the world. You could be better than anybody. After game one, I came in here and said, Charles Barkley's the same. Julius Randle don't appear to be scared of nobody on Miami. He's doing what he want out there. Jump shot, layup. What could have happened? Bruh, I just think them niggas fight. If you watch the Knicks versus Cleveland, y'all was beating them to every loose ball. Y'all was getting every rebound. You're talking about Will. That's what I'm talking about. I know, about. and I think that Cleveland was softer than the Knicks. So Mitchell Robinson was out there looking like David Robinson. You're talking about skill now, and I'm on the No, will. no, no. I'm talking about Will. Mitchell Robinson was getting every loose ball, every rebound, all of that shit. He was just doing all of the dirty work shit. Miami does dirty work too. I disagree with you. Well, no. No, they, Miami's hard-nosed. No, that's not what I'm saying. Sure. They are hard-nosed. Mm -hmm. They're not being met with the hard-nosed Knicks that we have seen. That's it, true. It, they, Knicks are playing soft. All the last six minutes of the game, and I'm muting up, last six minutes of the game, there was at least three possessions where Miami got four to five offensive mm -hmm. rebounds in the same possession. Mm -hmm. That's not... The Knicks are one of the better... Offen, the best offensive rebounding team in the league, so they know how to rebound. You ain't supposed to let no. That's just, you don't want the ball. Another yes, nigga do a you on you. You don't want the ball. I watched that ball, it hit, because Miami shoot a lot, so it would be a lot of long rebounds. Mm -hmm. I watched the ball go past like three Knicks. Mm. Julius Randle right at the foul line. The ball rolled right past him. You're not even attempting to get the ball. We, I can't I can't bet on this. They trade I can't bet on that. I think they trade him. <clears throat> I said that. I see big changes coming. If they lose tonight in Madison Square Garden, oh, yeah. big change is coming. Big, big change is coming. That's what I got on sports. I agree with that. What's your, how's your team? Like, As I just said, we just tied up 2-2. Mm -hmm. um, we play, well, by the time we'll beat them, played last night. Mm -hmm. It's been another great series. It is. Again, watch, watching that game four, Sixers fans couldn't breathe. Mm. Like, they, you just, Boston don't stop. Like, you think you might get a little cushion on them, and then here they come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't stop. Like, you got to keep your Double. foot on the gas at all times. You they cannot don't. You cannot let up. Like, you might think you got, all right, it's, it's, it's four minutes left, and we up, whatever, whatever. Nope. Here they come. I have our part of the show today is from a gentleman named Michael. Right. What's up, Mike? What's up, Michael? Mike? Let's hear it, Mike. Michael says, hey, you guys and Mel, please help me get my girl back. 
<laughs> I'm down bad, y'all. <laughs> I've spent the last few weekends weekends walking around the house wearing her hoodie. Uh, what? Haven't washed it and don't plan on washing it. Oh, you don't really. So bad, here's like... the deal. We've been talking for a year. It's been an, it's been up it's been an up and down year. Wear her hoodie. <laughs> we each started in fuck shit and then decided to get serious. Oh. However, I've still made mistakes since. Hasn't been any cheating, but just how I've handled and reacted to different situations. I love this woman more than anything and want to marry her. She loves me too and would also like to marry me. A few weeks ago, we had a disagreement because she wanted to talk, but my insecurities and lack of communication skills, what do you know? We never had that conversation and it led to a huge fight. Since then, she's been distant and we haven't been in communication like we were before. We've still talked but we've still talked, we've talked about the fight and expressed that we still love each other. However, she's unsure if she wants to still be with me. I know for sure that I want to still be with her. I'm torn. I'm torn on should I give her space to think and figure out what she wants to do or should I apply mad pressure and let her know I'm not going anywhere. I feel like it's a thin line between expressing desire to still be with you and showing I'm sorry and just harassing and being annoying. Well, you gotta, uh, I don't want to push her away. But I also want to leave this space for more distance to grow between us. Mel, from a woman's perspective, I'm very curious to know how you feel. Again, guys, I'm sick. I know she still loves me, but I also know life isn't enough. I can't picture life without her. Oh, love must be much. Mm. Love isn't enough. I can't picture life without her. Please help. Thanks and keep up the great work. Hmm. I think you got to apply pressure, but don't be annoying. Like if there's an issue with communication, overexerting yourself and being obnoxious is not going to help. You need to try to remedy the poor communication that happened. I think somebody got her attention. Can we queue up R. Kelly? <laughs> Facts. No. No. But, I, but, I, but what are you saying? Because when a woman's <laughs> fed up. <laughs> no matter how big you <laughs> ain't nothing yeah, you can do I don't about laugh at her voice pl plight about. and his pain because I've been there. Um, you wore someone else's hoodie? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted Mel to answer because he asked me for Mel specifically before we deep dive, but. No. Uh, She's a scorpion. No, I don't know. No. This is going to yeah. go the way right. he wants. Yeah, all. Finish he wants up it and, then, and I'll jump in. <laughs> I think that um, he said he met her when they both was on fuck shit. Which means she's capable of the mm -hmm. fuck shit. Mm -hmm. I think somebody else, as Ice would say, has her attention now, mm -hmm. and you might have, you might be finito. Remember the Martin stand up where where chick kept asking him, uh -huh. Craig, hey, Craig, uh, gotta go, gotta go. See you when I see you. Remember that time I asked you for? Well, somebody else got that time now. Mm -hmm. I'm a bush. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, it. That's what I think. That's it. Yo, she only gonna ask you for so long, yo. And, and you know she's capable of the other shit. And not just that, like, words. It's actions over words. So you, you're not showing her what she want to see. All right, cool, yeah, my nigga. She's so jaded, man. All right, cool. You think? She going to go let another I'm nigga fine. show her. I, I think that when people are human, they're capable of the shit. Yeah, but so it didn't even matter that they was on fuck shit early. No, but see, he but know though. You already know but he she's know though. every person. So ain't. you don't know that. Yeah. That's he why, knows that's for That's why a I fact. assume it. <laughs> but you don't have to assume. That, you you know. the jaded one, nigga. Yeah, that's jaded. Yeah, he ain't got it. Jaded no, Jack. He don't have to assume. He knows. Yeah. So you already know what, what Shorty came with. She started hitting you with the yo, I love you too, but nah. Yeah. You start trying to apply pressure. Yo, come on, let's do something tonight. Nah, nah, I think cool. that you can't apply pressure these days because it comes off a certain way. Right? Like back in the days, you were able to apply pressure and not be looked at. You know, ever since everybody became woke. That's real beta of you. Apply, no, it's the truth. Us alpha niggas know how to apply that. No, <clears throat> if you apply pressure, Fuck once I'm Instagram coming. came. Come here, once, <laughs> <laughs> don't interrupt me, my nigga. I don't feel, don't interrupt me, nigga. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Stop. Don't interrupt me. Yo. <laughs> once Instagram came and they started knowing they worth. And I said, oh, excuse me. But <laughs> oh, remember, remember, remembering their worth, remembering and, and, and reassurance. A lot of shit look crazy. A lot of shit they not going to allow. They not. Back in the days, you go pull up to the crib. Even if they say don't come to the crib, you can still pull up and get a conversation. Now, he's a stalker, recording you. Look at this nigga. Go away. Like, it's, it's, it's real well, different. Let me just tell you. You tell him. You tell him, Ish, please. I'm pulling up to the crib. Wait, when you him? 
None of that shit. It don't matter if you hear him or not. Stop yes, it. No, it does. Yeah, it, it does. does matter. Matter. Thank you, Mel. Oh, yo, okay. dog. You listen when to When I pull up to your job really like that, yo. and I tell Stop. you bring your ass down them stairs, guess what she oh, gonna you, do? It's cool. It's all right, bro. Y'all niggas is You'll not that. There. Y'all niggas ain't Who that. Who is not that? You are not. He's all right. I certainly won't. You are not. Thank you, sir. I certainly will not try to convince you of that. I heard about you. You're not like that. Not that, nigga. You heard about you know. Yeah, and you I heard know, about you, you but know. you do that. If you apply that pressure, how would you look if back you, at it? If, if you heard that, then you heard more. I, I did hear more, but <laughs> if but you heard, yeah, that nigga just be moving the menu. He be paying me, you can be that. Then you heard. No, some no, other you things are, too. no, no. Let me just say that. You gotta hear the whole spectrum now. <laughs> if you, if you was to apply, say, if you fell in love, right, be Bobby? Then say, <laughs> say, say, if you, say, if you, right now, right, something, you know, not gonna work, and you was to go, and. Go for your girl. Not the one that you with now, but just say you're dealing with somebody. You who you are now. They're going to make fun of you. Well, you have... Well, a spectacle. Well, They're going to well, like... But that well, don't matter no. when you're in love. Yeah. You don't care yeah, about being but made look, fun of. But he does. No, he does no. not. You Yo, have the wrong nigga. <laughs> you have the wrong nigga. So record... He don't, he don't give a fuck how he looks. All right, man, my hands up. He shit on himself. <laughs> no, I don't believe that. That's weird then. Hey, I key. My hands up, Cassie. Hey, Listen, don't touch me. Take, take my word for it. <laughs> he don't. He don't. Care. So you care? No. When you in well, love, well, he was wasn't what? famous going through that. But your no. point applied. Like when you're famous, you have to think about. You he have to at least think. You can't do it the way hey, that dogs. every nigga do it. He don't care. Bro. Not just that. I ain't know. I thought, hey, I'm flip, not letting fame stop me. Hey, hey, flip. Hey, flip. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He did. I thought he like I'm not. We watched the famous nigga do it and got clowned for it. Offset. Oh, about to Nigga, we, we watched I, Joe I, Budden propose in Times Square. Well, that, oh, that ain't shit. Yeah, that, 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 ain't that, that was, love. you're bugging. I don't think Yeah, that. but that was. A lot of the, people, the circumstances. bro. I'm just telling you, I'm a lot just saying of that people wouldn't put themselves in that position it, where it, the potential it, got it, got it, got it, got no just, now makes you look crazy to the world. Got it. So a social, lot of men won't do that. Social media has changed the way you approach things. But not when you are in love, Even if You, you yeah, don't you, give bro. a fuck about none of that shit. When you're in love, you, you be looking you just at want yourself her. in the mirror like, what are you doing? You and just you want her. I don't give do a fuck, fuck about and none And then she reading the comments and allowing it to persuade oh, her brain yeah. and, and, and like, yeah, you do love Social media do not he, stop He on some new age. Yeah, yeah, I don't even think about social media when talking about love. I want my girl back. I'm pulling up to my girl house. Whatever social media is talking about, I don't know. Because my phone is dead because my normal charging regiment wasn't the Saturday. And sleep I right at night. Word. Yeah, I'm texting you. I'm calling you. This battery about this, to die. When I hit you with this closed teeth talk, you won't go to the yeah, <laughs> that don't work. No I had more. to stop and get a car charger Yo, before I went to <laughs> went to hell. Don't play it, man. All right. I respect this. Salute. Right, the only time it go different is when you learn about the other nigga when you do it. When the other nigga's there. And now, now you got to play. Attention. Now she off you. Yeah. So now, now yeah. you got to play by different. And that's, and why, that's what I'm saying. You got to regroup. Yeah, yeah. yeah you you got to go home. Omaha. Go home. Omaha. Omaha. Yeah. Go home. Call Audible. Go home. You got to. Sit in the car. Sit by yourself. Now, you done pulled up for lunch. Another nigga out there with a nicer car with some muscles. Yeah. You watch her come out with a nice little flowy dress. The muscles. Now, what are you doing so, though? What, what are you I doing? You driving off? Over the muscles. Shit. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying. When, no, when you she's driving off, are you turning up? No, I'm not turning up. Turning up. See, that's what I'm saying. Niggas is halfway. Through. That's what, what I'm saying. We're not. They're not. Look, look, look. You can't have. If Yo, you're you talking to productive members of society. If you're going you're not for love, you can't friends. pick and choose. No, not just that. You're going that. for love. You see another nigga. Hold on, do this. You see exactly, nigga. You see another nigga. You got it. No. You got to go all the way. If you take a trip halfway across town. No, because the problem is. He not pod. I think he, he felt like he's that. He's No, I'm not pod. I'm serious, <laughs> nigga. Like like I'm not pod for real. So let me ask you this. For real, Carry Joe. that out. Carry that out. Carry all that out. It's documented. Much to document No, no. Carry that out. Keep what going. What you talking no, about? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. How is so you document? go to her job. You've been job. married your whole life. How is it documented, nigga? Where? Tell me what about it. It's documented. I'll show you. It's documented. Where? Show me right now. I'm not going to show you right now. It's documented. I'm going to violate you. I just want to see it. All right, I'll show you. Yeah. Car- keep you on. don't scare you, me with you, your violation. I said, turn up there. I got to get out. No, 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 no. Just turn up Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let me see. You pull up at her job. Wait, chill, chill, chill. Relax, Breeze. You pull up at her job. <laughs> the new niggas out there. Your turn up leads to her getting fired. You think you're getting your I don't back? give a fuck. There well, you go. that's a problem. And that's yeah, what, exactly. And that's what you're different. not going to get your and girl back. Exactly. 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 Now, now, now we're going for love and we're going out our way and, and, and there's boundaries. No, nigga. If you want your girl back, you don't at, want to be on the board. At, at the same time. And you don't want to get her back if you make her lose her job. More mad at you. If you want to be technical. And you don't want to get beat up by the new dude. Hold on, y'all. It's one If she wants to break. 
Give it a fucking break then. Don't go out there and look for no. her. Don't go out there and no, go get your girl your back. things are totally You're being exclusive. invasive. Your and if you do get there and another nigga there, your minds will go all the way and express yourself. No, I disagree. You don't have to fight the nigga, but your minds will go all the way. Okay. You got it. So how you go all the way? Have, yo, what's up? Come here. Let me talk to you. The nigga gonna be like, yo, chill. Nine times out of ten, the nigga gonna step to the side anyway. Flip, you're that, not what? in the physical shape to do what you're saying right now. <laughs> you wanna crack jokes? Nah, That's the problem. Nah. You wanna crack jokes? <laughs> look, Jam, Mr. Jammy. Mr. Jammy wanna crack jokes. Look, I'm not cracking jokes. You saying that the nigga gonna say, I'm gonna move to the side? What if he don't? You and the nigga get into an altercation again, which leads to your girl getting fired. Hold up. She's already mad at you. Now she's even madder at you. Mm -hmm. Now, that nigga's going to be not only the shoulder to cry on, but the dick to lean on. What are you talking about? Not true. It is totally backfiring on you. Okay. Wait. It's great to disagree. Stop. I see what it's saying. Stop. You agree with me, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was agreeing no, I with think. you, but now when I was listening to y'all, he has a point. He has a point. Let me explain. If you see a girl eating with a dude and you decide to turn it up or say, what'd you say? Let me speak to you for a second over here. And the dude objects. And now you got to get in a situation with him and the dude shoots you. Now you in the hospital bed. You get your sympathy you bitch back. <laughs> um, I took come, a on, bullet. come on, I took come a on, bullet for come you, on, girl. come on. I know you not with that I nigga that shot me. Bullet for you, girl. You not with that nigga that just shot me, yeah, right? I'm on him anyway. <laughs> 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 no, hey, 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 I just called the boys, so you better leave him. You want me to accomplice, baby? Look, he going to jail anyway, so you have no trouble with my baby. <laughs> Don't be an accomplice, baby. <laughs> I was right. Oh, oh man. snap. So, so you see the niggas drop off then? You ate with the yeah. nigga that shot okay. me? Let me sit there and watch. Let me sit there and watch, see what happens. Yeah. No, that was funny. Y'all, <laughs> y'all need help. She come downstairs, get a nigga to kiss. You be sitting in the car about to blow a gasket. What? Mm. Oh, man. Yeah, no, they learned me one time. <laughs> <laughs> they learned me one time. Yeah, I thought I had a bright idea. <laughs> I know where the bedroom window I'm, is. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I walked to the back of that house. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. It was porn hub. I've lived a life too. Now it was that I think about it. Nigga. <laughs> Peace, nigga. No, I ain't seen no fucking. But oh. it was more. It was. It was touching and shit. The intimacy. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit, I wasn't ready to see. Yeah. I wasn't ready to see that. that. Painful. Yeah, I, I almost fell off the crate. Real <laughs> challenge. <laughs> if we could really hey, talk, yo. I would share some of the just yo. wild thoughts I've had during my wild arguments, but I can't because people be lying. <laughs> well, man, it's been some good ones. I remember when Shorty Crib was on the third floor, and that's where the fire escape started. I know I didn't understand it. Either. No, keep going though. <laughs> oh, or, yeah, or have whatever floor she was, she was the start of the fire escape, but it was higher than. Yeah, it's New York shit, regular New York shit. It was higher yeah, than whatever yeah, her floor should have yeah, been. Second floor. Yeah, and they got the little ladder that drops down. Yeah, this yeah. shit drop down the rest of the way. Well, it drops down if you're up there to yeah, drop yeah, it yeah. down. <laughs> not if you're down there trying to get to <laughs> it. Yeah, it's not made from the ground up, nigga. It's made for when you escape it. <laughs> well, listen, someone invented the wheel. Uh, I know. <laughs> If there was somebody that was going to try to figure out. It was the six garbage cans that you stood on. No, Spider-Man and that shit. I couldn't. I would have had to go to Home Depot and get something to pull the shit down, but that would have looked the way to the of neighbors. Course, course. So I just, just, uh, I'll get you next time. Nigga cl climbed up the, the leader pipe on the gutters. Oh, man. Yeah, sure enough. Yo, that gutter pipe. Oh, that should be sturdy, right? Yo, hey, that shit ain't as loose as it look. Yo. You need the cartoon dude. Drawing this nigga climbing up the gutters, yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. We need the cartoon dude uh, getting you stopping short from going to Great Adventure too. Sure. Yeah, don't try and just put my no, shit No, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Took her right back in the room. Oh, man, yo. Yo, then you hide under the bed one time? That was you or somebody else? One of my niggas was hiding under the bed. And her shorty come home. She was talking about the next nigga. Girl, he took me to such a such. Know what so you was. broke. <laughs> one of you broke into a girl's a apartment and was under the bed. No, no men that's be how doing. Well, I had men be doing some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that was him. But one of my niggas broke. No, I had went in the girl crib and was hot. Oh, you did, you was under the bed too. Yeah. Oh. But I told her I was getting under the bed. But I didn't say that. 
We had a talk on the phone. It wasn't going the greatest. You're talking to me like in a way you wouldn't talk to me if I was. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, nigga. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. All right. Oh. All right. I said, like, I still got that spare key. Yeah, whatever, whatever. When chicks get a new dick, they, they talk to you foul. I went right over there. <laughs> and live but around the corner. Let me show, let me Wasn't show no you. slap off my back. Like, I was like going to the hookah bar. <laughs> let, me, let me show you. I'm still. I went over there. Did, <laughs> went snooping around. I told this story before. Uh, I sent a picture of some shit that was on the computer screen. But that was me snitching on myself. Saying I'm yeah. in your house. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not Dodo. Uh, <laughs> she was none the wiser. Uh, where did you get this from? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, all right, now I got no choice but to stay here until you come. So I'm under the bed. And she came in with a bunch of friends, and the rest is history. Look at Mel face. <laughs> That's in love. Just well, you FYI. Don't care. You don't care. Well, you don't care about what you're going to look like to the optics. Like the optics. Mm-hmm. You don't care about that. Got gotcha. you. Your, your ego is gone. Oh, yeah. Your pride it wasn't is clean gone. Bed. He was in there with the dust bunnies. It was bunnies? dusty. It was dusty over there. <laughs> I was quiet. Allergies. That hair balls. I was trying to hide. It was sneezing. Oh, as soon man. as all the friends came in, they, they knew something. They heard something. Hey, wait a minute. Do y'all hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, man, that was funny. man, this nigga is stupid, yo. <laughs> the worst thing about me is I don't tell none of the people that love me what I'm about to go do. Mm. Like, you know how you feel like you should tell somebody, yo, I'm about to go to this chick house. <laughs> nah, because you know what? I'm trying to talk to you about it. I ain't telling y'all. Mm. Y'all yo, be loving dog. me. Yo, fam. And then tell us afterwards, you be like, nigga, why'd you do what, what the what fuck, the fuck is your was problem? wrong with you? I don't know, man. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, man, say, man. That's love, yo. The other love. Yeah. I hear you. I respect it. Got you. You're, You're not thinking about how no, you look. You don't got or, no ego. You're, like your whole self is gone. Like mm-hmm. you don't got no ego. It don't, it don't matter. I hear you guys. All that I'm too cool for this shit. Or I'm gonna look this way. You won't even. It don't even come across your mind, bro. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need a recap from Michael once he listens to this. Yeah. But we need a recap, oh, yeah, Mike. Because I didn't mean to be the bearer of bad news. It sounds like she's mentally checked out. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe well, physically. physically too. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Hope you like that hoodie. <laughs> hey, Mike, how tall are you, Mike? Make a pillow out hey, of Mike, it. Hey, Mike, you might not be that tall, Mike. She don't ain't got a six four nigga that can't fit the hoodie. If you can wear her hoodie, word, you, yeah. <laughs> I hope you was just joking around, but if you weren't, no, he said he ain't washing it no time soon. I think that new, was trying new, to be funny. New, leaving new, the there. New dick had your chick acting different, um, walking different, talking different. Keep it very short. Hey. Yeah, hey, well, hey, at I'm, that point, she's probably not your chick they don't, they don't anymore. Like, yeah. According to him, she is. Says, if you don't break up with me, you know what I'm saying? If you don't. And like nine times out of ten, if you're trying to, I'm not listening. I'm talking. Yo, I think we should, huh? Yo, hello? <laughs> yeah, what up? Yeah, I'm coming right now. Y'all, I'll be back. That's don't text your shit. Nothing. I'm putting all that shit on silent, nigga. I didn't read it. I didn't read it. I mean, sometimes you don't want to let go, man. I, no, I understand. You ain't let go when you find that shit in the box. Damn. I did. As a matter of fact, I did let go. Not that. Not the same day, though. <laughs> yes, it was. Stayed there two weeks. You know what I'm saying? No. No. I. So knew when a man fight for day. you, man, would you like that? Like, if a man like come back and he wants you and he's showing you that, yo, man, I fucked up. If I'm mentally checked out, then there's nothing that you can do to get me back. At all. No. Like, with women, it's like we give chance after chance after chance and we indicate to you what we need in order to feel good about staying here. But that's not, when a woman's fed up. It's true. When she's finally fucking done. Niggas are la-da-da-da-da. When she's done, there's nothing that you can do. Oh, when that nigga did that, you knew it was over. You know what's over when you hear that shit. Yo, you stupid. Once, what, what, like, I did that. Like, he, he did. That shit is true, though. Like, if I'm done with you, you may as well be a fucking eunuch. When you leaving... Oh, shit. That's crazy. No. When you're leaving the crib, nigga, she really done, nigga. You hear so much yeah, Like, you walk it's slow. Shit start to get blurry. You, know? <laughs> you gotta catch your breath by the carpet. Like, oh shit. And don't let her come outside to see you there, nigga. She yeah. gonna walk away. I'm telling you. Are you still here? She makes it worse. <laughs> when I, when I was going. Yeah, clean that's, why I don't, that's why I don't like. You start coming like, be in the sympathetic house a little bit. Seeing them in y'all on Van Zant books, it's a wrap. 
Be sympathetic. If you see me outside <laughs> still, you like, I'm you. She trying you to prove a point now. She lost clean your myself bitch. Up. You lost your bitch? I'm telling you. Was there ever a time where you just pulled an eye on the Van Zandt book off the Value in the Valley? Was that you? No, I read it in the meantime. I, uh, I was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I read in the, the meantime. How much time did you get your heart broke? In this? between time. Huh? How much time did you get your heart broke? One, like 1.5. One, one, really. Mm. And after the first one happened, I just kind of vowed that I wouldn't try and put myself in that position again. Got but it. But the, the, the second time, it wasn't as rough as the first. Because so you was already so you jaded. <laughs> My hell. Did you lose weight? Like, what was it? What, did you 30. Lose? What? 30. 30, 30 pounds? pounds? Damn, ish. Damn, man. Well, how many, how many months you was down you for? You needed some more books than that one. You <laughs> was reading. <laughs> that's, that's my man. Nah, I was fucked up. Like, I mean, I'm dead ass. I'm, that's my man. How many, down you, how many months you was down for, bro? I don't know. It was a lot. I don't, Damn, like half a you, year? Yeah, about that. You be fucked up. Nigga, that was my first time, like, literally having a, a grown-up relationship. Like, we mm. lived together. We... You know what I mean? We did all of that shit. So, you you know, you making house, you picking out rugs and all that shit. I had never done that. So, that person becomes intertwined in your life. Nah, stop. Yeah. He know. <laughs> he, he cracking, bro. I've been around him. That nigga was fucked. Like, yo, you What's good? the most you been down for, Joe? I don't hide it, though. Not me neither. I don't hide it at all. Me I, I go bask in whatever it is mm-hmm. that got me fucked up. And then let it let it go on past. Worse. Let it go on past. Mm. How long? What was the longest? The longest you've been down for? Because we usually oh, know. A few years. You be years? fucked up? Bro, you be fucked up. Oh, wait. Y'all was talking about like months and shit. <laughs> 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 no, you be fucked up. If you're talking about months and shit, then you ain't talking about the girl. We ain't talking about the same girl. Got it. Like, yo, you be really fucked up. Like, there's, yeah, there's a girl out there that you thought, you thought it got resolved. But a few years <laughs> went by, still some shit like going on out yeah, there. That's true. Mm, mm, That's true. Mm, mm. Go ahead, Casey. Mm. Did you cause a breakup issue? I need no, uh, he did not. Um, why are you speaking to him? Because oh. I mean, he wouldn't have been as fucked up as he was if he was the one that That's not true. That's, That's, That's not true, man. Huh? Oh, That's not true, Mel. Damn, Mel. When you're in the guilty true. party, you're worse. Yeah, yeah, Mel. Mm-hmm. Because now you know it was you. You ain't here doing part of the show. Look at you trying to shoot him some bail. Shut your ass up. He said a million dollars, my nigga. That little 30000 ain't going to work. His what? bill a million. I just <laughs> he got a high bill. Okay. No, yeah, you be fucked up. Crying in the bathroom at work. Mm. All that. I'm t- you, I'm, no, I believe it. it. No, I believe That's it. Every, I be telling every, people every like, little thing, like your, some fucking food. No, a place. Yeah, when you be driving. You, now you like, oh. You know y'all used to go to that restaurant or y'all shit. used to push on the swings in that park. You be fucked up. Push my Jesus name. Christ. Nah, you so, push on the swings. <laughs> The, the mirror was broken during that time. <laughs> you couldn't just go in there and yo, Parks, chill the fuck out, Parks. <laughs> get it together, you my man. Just, stop. You just let me get it together. Stop, yo, Parks. Yo, you heard him? That was stop. hilarious. I'm talking to you. That was I know funny. you done broke for um, ice. Not long. I've, really? I've, I've been there, but it ain't, it ain't been long. Sixty I'll, days. I'll find a way to get over it. <laughs> This is not the breakup segment of the show, by the way. I just want to know, why. come on, chill, man. You always want to fuck shit up, man. It's just so we're Because you had the max year, five years of stop. <laughs> we don't relate to that. You got a max deal? Yeah, you got a max yeah, deal. Fucking Brunson ass Nigga, out of yeah, here. million. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny, yo. But it's honorable that men could admit that, though. A lot of niggas wouldn't admit that. Do you guys talk to each other about that? Like, yeah, you man, have? Hell yeah. Yeah? Okay. Mm-hmm. What does that conversation sound oh, like? Shit, she going in. I, I'm <laughs> curious. What? She has her question. Dog, I've had niggas call my phone three o'clock in the morning in tears, like just fucked up, mad niggas on more than one occasion. Men go through it; they hide it, but they go through it. You, you won't know that nigga went through it, but his niggas, like the niggas that he loves and he feels vulnerable with, they'll know. I've had niggas telling me, "Yo, dog, I'm I'm cutting holes in my belt because I'm getting skinny." Shit like that, yeah. Got you. Wow. Chick won't ever know that. All right. Now outside, you got to keep the. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What is, like, y'all, enough of this. Enough now. Stop. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm enough. I remember yeah. you cut the holes in your belt, nigga. Dog, I agree with everything you're saying, but I'm sick of them two, both of them. <laughs> he married. She's sitting here with all this fucking cap. Why, dad, dad, not dad, why, for real? Like you ain't been the cause of that. Like stop. Enough with this cappuccino. Too much cappuccino. This is not Starbucks. This <laughs> <laughs> What? What else? What else we got? What else? What else we got going on? Starbucks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, let's y'all pull see. one out. Pull one out for Spinrilla, man. I don't know what Spinrilla is. Spinrilla, Spinrilla was a, was a um, that's was young a, young people's dad piff. 
pretty much. Ah, uh, okay. It was right. another, it was oh, another. Bye. But no, nah, y'all couldn't have been around long. <laughs> they, they were, they were actually around for a minute. But um, don't let the doorknob hit you on the way. <laughs> label sued them. Demanded that they turn over the server plus oh. pay them. I think it was like fifty million or something. Mm-hmm. For, wow. Into their business. And they had until Monday of this, uh, like Monday midnight of this week, to shut down. Wish I would have paid them fifty million. I to move that money around to 17th LLCs in the Caymans. Cause Fuck I don't let them play it for a minute. No, you can talk over. Go ahead. Because what they were doing, which is where I think they fucked up. So, Dirk album come out Friday. They'll put the album on the site and you can stream it there too. Oh, yeah. Toast. So you got mixtapes and shit on there too. I mean, <clears throat> some other platforms <clears throat> are doing the exact same thing that are mixtapes, but we're putting the new shit on there too, but just we're putting it for stream only. You so, don't know who has what deal with who, though. So we can't put everybody on the same correct. playing field. They might be playing ball with them over there yeah. to yeah. let them do that. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then here you, you not we don't play ball with you, but you over yeah. here streaming. And that was part of the, uh, the complaint. It was like they have been streaming copyrighted materials, materials unlimited. Like they're allowing you unlimited streams, and they're not paying anybody for these. Oh, yeah, you toast. So. Toast. It's one thing to have the mixtapes that are not copyrighted. Even even those are going to start getting I was just smacked I, too. I've seen it. You know, I, I would have little mixtape arguments with people, and they'd be like, nah, we'll just go to that Pip to get it. I'm like, all right, well, if you notice, you go over there, certain shit missing now. They, they just made a new thing where everything's on like an archive, I guess. I saw. I haven't gone to the site. So I've been down They, they have shit. not been playing when it comes to this copyright stuff. Right? They, they're looking back. They're trying to. The way mixtapes used to be protected before over. Um, what was it? Use. Promote promotional the use promotional only, use, yeah, shit yeah. like that. That ain't working no more. So Can't be putting out full albums that are out. That's a that ain't gonna work. No. Because <laughs> I don't understand how the fuck you get paid off of that shit. Word. <laughs> like this has to be turned up. I mean, can somebody explain to me? Yeah, I read this last part. A billion streams and not get a million dollars. Yeah, but watching him like, and watching Larry sense. Jackson with his hand on his head. Like, Word. Running the streaming industry. If you in here or not. <laughs> but nigga, you need to give us some information on how the fuck to track this money down. Because one plus one ain't adding up to two. That shit don't add up. And I have to say it. Because that's the main gripe with a lot of us artists is that we do. I think this is hilarious that Larry Jackson got all of that money and started this company with all these really important people. He put the new fancy logo, step and repeat, in the bag. Got the fancy journalist there and Snoop. <laughs> Man, fuck all of this shit. <laughs> they need to figure the fuck out with this streaming shit, cuz. Because, holy shit. <laughs> Yo, Larry Jackson looks so stressed out. Good word. Till the end of that clip, he's like. <laughs> Snoop been against that shit. Like, the, the second he took over Death Row, first thing he did was smash everything down. Smash everything off. Right away, like nah, we gonna work this out a different way. Mm-hmm. Y'all not doing that no more over here. Now I own it. Different ball game. It's a different. Less than ten years, I see forty percent artists doing the same, snatching all this shit off of certain places and really playing the game with their music. Yeah, hell yeah. Because just because I don't put my shit on Spotify, I don't mean <laughs> I don't have to have my shit on Apple. Artists are. Artists uh, blindfold themselves with this whole. I have to get to as many ears as many yeah. ears as possible. Yeah. Many ears as possible. If if the live show is a luxury item now, then you think that's the precursor to what? My, All of that shit my, about to be everything. luxury. Yeah, it's right. gonna be. But people are already moving that way, so it's just gonna yeah. get. Especially it, as the technology gets more, now you can actually download files to your iPhone, which you couldn't do for t- the first 10 years of its existence. Like, now you could go buy an album on a website and have it on your phone the same way you have the whole streaming shit on your phone. Yeah, but before the window was small. Yeah, no doubt. I'm saying that... Shh. Huh? That was funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. <laughs> damn, none yeah. of us, yo, none of us, let's do, let's do, I do, I have to, I'll get out of here, I'll get out of here, no, but you were saying something, no, nah, nah, it's all good, all right, it's no, we out, here. we out here, we out here, we out, it's been a blast, I got DVDs for sale as you exit to the left, some of tonight's bits are included there, <laughs>
Oh, all right, man. Mic check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Still beautiful weather in New York, if you were wondering. Real good pod today. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. I want to thank my castmates, my co-hosts, the fans, um, the haters, the ops. I want to thank all y'all. Do keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. Remember, life is a series of moments. And moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And last but not least, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. It goes... What's up with y'all doing the rest of the week? Why are they buying their phone? Put the fucking phones away. To answer your question, I'm sitting my ass down for the rest of the week. I'm watching some basketball and that's it. I'm still recovering from Drinko de Mayo. Oh yeah, because your team is still in no there, so I feel you. Me. That's it for the month. Yeah, 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 that's it. Like, uh, they, they learned me real good. Sports is over for me now. To uh, football. Yeah, you got baseball. You got, got hockey. You got baseball, but the fucking Yankees, don't get me started on them either. The devil's still in it. Put up eight. Put up eight. Uh, the last game. Oh, go Devils! I wanted to. Got to support the Devils. I do got to support the Devils. That's got to support. The, got big jersey, man. Yeah, no. Shout out to the Devils. Uh, we down two one right now, though. But it's okay. They the underdogs next year. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that team's supposed to be like the best team in hockey. <laughs> Uh, I want to shout out to my baby Trey who stopped by. It's my oldest son's birthday tomorrow. Round of applause. 22 years old. Where did the time go? Where did it go? I remember it like yesterday, goddammit. Shout out to him. I love him. Rest in peace, Aunt Carrie Ann. I love you. Shout out to all the buttons, even the white buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hold it down out there. Everybody have a positive week. Good vibes, good energy, high vibrations. All right, we going, man. Y'all hold it down. Peace, love, health, wealth, blessings, prosperity, all of that good shit, man. New JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? New Joe Biden.